All right, all right, all right, all right. We are live, folks. Good evening, everybody. Shaitoshi Saturdays are coming to you live from the YouTube channel. Oh, man, we have so much to discuss. It seems like I say that every time, but guys, we have a lot to talk about, and there's some excitement. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Where's the ship army at? We got Hai Lee coming in first. Raju, let's acknowledge some of the folks coming in. Late night stream, 10 p.m. Central. A little later than we wanted to, but man, oh man. Here they are, Jackson YT, Melvin. Oh boy, what's going on, everybody? How are you all doing? I hope everybody is doing well on the Saturday night. The crypto market is looking really, really good. Everything, right now, the overall market cap is at 2 trillion and 9 billion US dollars. Things are looking very, very solid. And we have a lot, a lot, a lot to talk about, both for SHIB and for Ryoshi, because Ryoshi has been on fire. But of course, it's Shaitoshi Saturdays, so we need to go through the Q&A that we asked Shaitoshi, but let's wait for a few more people to come in so everyone has a chance to hopefully listen in live that want to. But of course, this is going to be recorded, so again, you can come back and watch whenever you'd like. So let's go. We got Shannon C, my man. Patrick Gilmartin, how are you doing, man? He says, hashtag SHIB Army. We got Don't Mint Cool The Not. My man, Singaporean brother, coming in hot, doing good, my friend, doing good. Hope everybody's doing well. All right. So, guys, let's get the dis discussion started. And, of course, for those who are maybe watching this as a rerun or just coming in now, make sure you guys smash that like button like you always do. And also, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because, again, we have a lot of things on the, on the up and up. Lots of lots of new projects that we're looking into and things have been, you know, thankfully the ROI has been absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and talk about it. And someone said, Salaamu Alaikum. Who was that? Who was that? Uh, Nadir. Wa Alaikum as -salam. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So Shiba Inu right now is looking really good. It's been consolidating though, right around 800 to about 840, 850 Satoshi units, but holding strong. So we're testing higher lows. Again, we're finding a new level of support, which always, always, always is a very, very, very good sign. So again, it's something that should excite everybody, but we're waiting for that breakout. We're waiting for the next big catalyst that's gonna take us where? To the moon. So right now we're waiting for Coinbase, of course, kind of on, kind of stalling a little bit, but there are some questions that you guys were asking throughout the week for Shatoshi Saturdays. And really, some people were asking some phenomenal, phenomenal questions. So today, let's go ahead and start answering some of those. My main man, Joseph, always coming in with a super chat. Thank you so much for your support, my friend. He says, what's up, Ship Army? What's up, your pop? Hey, Joseph, how are you doing, my friend? I hope you are doing well. I hope you had a fantastic week. And the weekend is here, and the market is looking good. So let's keep making those gains. So let's go ahead and discuss um, the Q&A. So we have, what, about 200 people in the chat right now? We started about three minutes ago, so I think it's time for us to maybe start going through some of the Q&A. Again, a lot of things happened for, in terms of um, the development team, and, um, you know, unfortunately, you guys probably heard, uh, there's just a lot of, there's been a lot of, you know, um, health-related things in terms of um, Kyle, who's the main dev. So Shaitoshi said he did the best job that he can. Um responding or answering some of the questions so again if there are anything that is if there's any questions that weren't addressed i do apologize guys there we can only do so much each week because you know again shaitoshi is extremely busy and um yeah anywho let's go ahead and go step by step question by question and hopefully you guys get your questions answered that you've been asking throughout the week now again remember um if you do want to continue to ask questions guys you know send me a dm and I try to get through them as much as possible. And also, I do apologize. I told you guys this week I'd be acknowledging the names for the people asking the questions. But again, I forgot to. So starting next Saturday, all questions that are asked that I really like, I will give you a shout out on the stream and on the channel. So again, my apologies for this week. Some of the names were captured, but not all, not all of them. So question number one. Because Ryoshi has been going absolutely astronomical since we bought in, we all bought in for anybody that joined me, again, not a financial advisor, we bought in at 650, 6,500 was the level. Right now today, it's at over 33,000. So we didn't double, we didn't triple, we almost quadrupled our initial investment. So I am up a lot and I know a lot of other people are up a lot as well. So again, I wanted to know a little bit more on how the partnership was going to blend. 
right? So this question actually wasn't asked about me, but I really liked it. And the question was, how will Ryoshi be distributed via Shiba Swap to the X SHIB holders? Will there be a woofable button? So as you guys know, right now on the swap, which I'll pull up in just a moment, we know right now for anybody that is um, looking to obtain some of their tokens that they've staked, right? Or some of your returns, all you got to do is woof them. So for the majority of us, we're getting woofable bones and woofable SHIB, right? So again, that's kind of the ROI that I was wondering about with Ryoshi, right? We get that 1% per transaction. Um, that's part of their tokenomics for all XSHIP holders. So will there be a woofable button on the swap for XSHIP holders or will it be airdropped to each to everybody that is holding, right? Via basically an airdrop mechanism into the wallets directly. I thought it was a very valid question. And also, when will this happen? <clears throat> and what if it increases the supply so much that there's a huge dump because of it? Because again, a lot of people were kind of worried about that potential for, you know, the pump followed by a dump because that scares a lot of us as investors. We don't want to see any pump and dump schemes. We want, because for me, you guys know I love pumps, but I hate the dump that comes following a lot of the pumps. So that's why I'm so careful and I try to be very, very um, selective on tokens that I cover because I know, unfortunately, the potential that comes with having any kind of platform like this. Thousands of people, tens of thousands of people, 20, 30, 40,000 sometimes will be watching some of these videos or, um, you know, join in on a Twitter, Twitter feed. And because of that, it becomes a little bit risky. So Shaitosi's response was he was, you know, it seemed like there was some confusion because again, Carl usually answers these questions with Shaitoshi. Yes, this, this segment of the channel and these videos are called Shaitoshi Saturdays, but if he has questions that he isn't, uh, he's uncertain about, he asks Call, the main developer of Shiba Inu, or sh uh, the entire ship platform. So again, his response here, he says, increases the supply. He asked, um, you mean they buy a bunch to distribute, it drives up the price, and then drives down the price. Maybe we will have them staked. So again, one of the things that he's looking to potentially mitigate the potential for a dump, if people just you know end up getting um, their tokens as rewards and then just selling them off, what they're trying to do is they're trying to identify the mechanism on how to go about it, but he's looking at maybe just having it staked. So again, kind of like the idea with, if you go back, when I said here, um, or it wasn't me who asked this question, I think this was actually from rigor mortis, but will it have a woofable option? Potentially. So again, they aren't certain quite yet. And as more answers come, of course, I'll be the first to report on that. So that was question number one for the night from Shaitoshi. So again, um, I'm glad that he was able to kind of respond, but it seems like there are some question marks still. They aren't 100% certain how the mechanics will work, but they will. They will. Next, question number two. Are you in contact with Amazon to have them use SHIB as payment? What is the pro uh, probability of them using SHIB as payment? Someone asked this on a previous video and it got a lot of upvotes. And I also want, I was just, I was also wondering, you know, what are the developers doing in terms of the whole thing with Amazon? Is this, cause it's not really part of their roadmap. It's, it came out of nowhere. And, you know, Shaitoshi did acknowledge that somebody mentioned that SHIB is one of the tokens that is being looked at from the team, from Amazon, apparently. So because unfortunately he didn't have a really good answer. He says, this is not on our roadmap, nor have we contacted them. So as of right now, for all the Shiba Inu holders, there is no answer in terms of Amazon accepting Shibas for payment or even allowing people to trade SHIB, or excuse me, utilize SHIB as a form of payment. But remember guys, there is an e-commerce company now, if we go on Twitter real quick, let's deviate here for, for a second. Oh, I didn't even share the stream. Whoops, I was supposed to do that right away. Let me go ahead and just do that to Twitter. And then we're going to look at, um, we're going to look at, Don't book a cheap hotel. what was it again? Um, yes, there is a platform that's already, let me just tweet this out. There's a platform that's accepting SHIB. And you guys could probably tell me before I even find it on the web. Um, you guys remember what that was? Goodness, I retweeted this a long time ago. But there's one that allows you to use Shiba Inu to buy things on Amazon, Walmart, and other e-commerce platforms. This was way back though, man. I think this was in July sometime. Let's go back and see. Someone, if you guys know what the website is, go ahead and put it in the chat, in the live chat right now, and then maybe we can acknowledge it from there. Let's see, that was Matt Kors. This was before that. Gate. It was something.io. Shop.io. There it is. Shopping. That's what it was. You got it. 
So let's see if we can pull up. So regardless, right now, you know, there's only a few cryptocurrency assets that are actually allowed on that platform. And one of them, of course, is none other than there it is shopping.io so if you guys missed this just for all the people who potentially didn't get to see this when um you know i, I retweeted it is there's this platform called shopping.io um it's an it's an online ordering and e-commerce platform basically it's almost like a middleman where they'll let you utilize crypto assets so right now shiba inu of course is one of them that you can use to buy um things directly from amazon ebay and walmart those are the three platforms they're partnered with partnered with it's not really a part direct partnership so again this was as of what day july 5th 2021 so over a month now we can actually buy um things e-commerce e related right goods and ser goods and services both directly from these websites with ship token but again um going back to the question looks like there's nothing official from that point there so there was the answer from mr shaitoshi so let's keep going and my man, SJ828, I see you in the chat. I'm doing well, my friend. Thanks for asking. Uh, Patrick Gilmartin. Ben Adi's in the chat as well. In the house, apologies for the lateness. Better late than never. Better late than never, my friend. Welcome, Ben. And again, we actually just got started. We're only 10 minutes into the stream, so you're actually not late at all. Now, next question. And as SJ says, make sure you do smash that like button so, and so we can get the stream out to more people. Bless that YouTube algorithm, however it works, that mysterious, mysterious algorithm, I tell you. <laughs> so question number, I think we're on three. What's the status regarding Layer 2 or L2, Shibirium? Uh, when can we expect the Certic approval, um, release, ETC? Rough monthly estimation. We're just trying to kind of figure out. And this was a great question because people want to know. We don't have necessarily any definitive updates um, in terms of L2. But again, they said that they're anticipating the release for their own blockchain platform. Where? On the, you guys heard it, by the end of the year. December 2021 is kind of what they want to shoot by. And again, that's why that 1 million holder goal is there. Is they want to get to a million holders by the end of the year. So for Shibanet and the also um, blanking out here for Shibanet and for Shibirium, 1 million holders, they say, might be... Um, that's basically a very good goal to have so we can start utilizing it and see the actual you know benefits you know gas fees that kind of thing to be addressed um instead of using the ethereum blockchain of course because you guys know those gas fees are killing each and every one of us every single day we're getting beat up left and right yesterday what was it two days ago maybe i bought more ryoshi and i bought more shib i paid i think over 50 dollars of gas just to get my transaction to go through on the ethereum blockchain yes i i use the fast option but that's just ridiculous that doesn't that makes people not want to buy so again having our own blockchain having our own platform is going to be absolute that's going to be instrumental for the development and the growth of this community and crypto cryptocurrency so shatosi says l2 is in the early stages we also have a community developer uh, development team that is advanced in this respect I'm never giving timelines because this is a decentralized this is decentralized and anything is possible. Our goal is this year. So, right now we're in we're on August 14th, 2021. And you know, again we're shooting for the end of the year. So, the next 4 months at any given moment we could see L2 come about. And that could be absolutely game-changing for this community. Cuz if we have a successful blockchain with less of those gas fees, guys i don't even know what to say but i think again not the sky won't even be the limit whatsoever really it's off to the moon from there off to different planets who knows so again the goal is by the end of the year per shaitoshi's words next question number four i think so this was again copy paste from someone's message i apologize for not get catching the name but he says dear shaitoshi oh dear shaitoshi oh, oh, oh what am i doing Okay, wait. Sorry, guys. Uh, regarding layer two. Okay, dear Shatoshi, first I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your hard work. And I really appreciate when people thank the developers for what they've done. They've created a community like none other. And we need to acknowledge their hard work regardless. I feel like there's so much more. Um, there's not enough people acknowledging how much they've done, right? And I feel like I might even get more credit as a content creator relative to some of these developers because you guys show, show me 
so much love, so much love. But we need to show and give respects to the ones who've developed this platform and this community. All 500 of us that are in here right now, oh my goodness. All 500 of us, shout out to each and every one of you. But each and every one of you guys, we've we've developed this community and created this type of you know movement because of these guys. So we need to give them the appreciation and respect that they deserve. So again, appreciate whoever wrote this. You know who you are. I apologize for not catching your name. Now, with the crazy gas prices from Ethereum and with um, Cardano ADA on its tail to improve dramatic and dramatically decrease gas fees. How is Shibirium going to be a contender in this space, right? That's why Cardano has been on absolute fire. Look at the price action real quick. Look at ADA guys. And I told you I've been so bullish on this token. It's up 50% in the last seven days. It's going back to its all time high, all time highs, which was $2 and 40 cents or so. Look at this. We're returning to all time highs on Cardano because of smart, smart contracts trying to address the expensive gas fees. They're doing a really good job. It's ranked third by market cap in the cryptocurrency space. Third by market cap. Think about that for a second, guys. It's, it's right behind Bitcoin and Ethereum. So whoever asked this question, a big shout out to you because it is a phenomenal one. Uh, and let's see here. We did just get a super chat from Red Star 7311 Thank you so much. He's our maker and Cardano is supposed to be direct competition to Ethereum. Will, um, will gas fees be an issue for Ship Army when Ship goes to one cent? Red Star, absolutely, man. 110%. Cardano is trying to change the game. Maker, also, all these different um, blockchains. You know, again, whether you want to look at the smart contracts or not. And I need to do even more research because I'm really excited about uh, Cardano. It's one that I'm very, very bullish on, and I am holding my Cardano like like I'm holding my SHIB because those these are the crypto assets, in my opinion, of the future. So again, at, at some point, Cardano has the potential to maybe even exceed the market cap of some of these other. Again, it only has two ahead of it. So Ethereum, maybe? Who knows? But again, super bullish, not a financial advisor, always trying to put you guys on the place that I'm in. So that's, again, what it is. But yes. This is why we're going to ask, um, answer this question right here at Red Star. And that's why I really liked it when it was asked to Shaitoshi um, as one of the devs. So let's go ahead and see how he answered it. And a big shout out to Mod Siu. Let's go. Ahmed, he says, nice job, mate. Thank you so much, Mod Siu. I appreciate you and appreciate the super chat, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So again, with Cardano um, on a scale to improve dramatically and decrease gas fees, how is Shibirium going to be a contender in the space? Shaitoshi, our goal is to get the lowest fees possible. Solana is a great example of this. That's not our goal. Our goal is to have a blockchain that powers our decentralized ecosystem. So make sure you guys understand that. Cardano and these others are looking to potentially have other crypto assets come into it. And yes, I think Shibirium will at some point have more adoption by other um, crypto assets, right? More and more people will use it if it has better gas fees. But what they're trying to do is create L2, Shibirium, specifically for this ecosystem. And I'm talking Bone, I'm talking Leash, and I'm talking Ship. Those three specifically. And other crypto assets maybe that are supported by the swap could maybe at some point become a part of this uh, blockchain. Because you guys have to remember, what is a blockchain? What are consensus algorithms? What are all these things? It's verification, right? There's the proof of work, proof of stake. We understand these things pretty well at this point. But remember, the blockchain is a place to verify transactions. That's, again, that ledger system, if you will, that decentralized system that will allow people to you know, trade or buy and sell. And again, the big thing for them is lowest fees possible. So more and more people will be comfortable buying SHIB, Leash, and Bone and not get hit so hard by some of these gas fees. So in terms of being a contender with ADA, um, and as someone just mentioned, Maker, he says here Solana is the one that they're looking at because Solana is focused on what? Its own crypto assets. So let's just um, kind of look, look at that for now and see um, where we go. But in my opinion, again, if we have our own blockchain, and remember, their plan is not to make it exclusive for Shibirium. Uh, all the ecosystem assets are not going to be exclusive to Shibirium. You could still do everything on the Ethereum blockchain if you'd like, because again, Ethereum has a long history. It has, you know, it's very safe. It's something that a lot of people have already adopted. For Shibirium, it's going to be new. It's going to be maybe a little bit more risky. So people are going to kind of be maybe a little bit more speculative about it. So that's... That's a really good response, in my opinion, from Shaitoshi. So again, he says, our goal is to have a blockchain that powers our decentralized ecosystem. That is going to be the main goal. A big shout out to Pixel Army. I see you, man. Thank you so much for the $5 super chat. He says, yo, Pop, 
Thanks for the live streams and all the updates. I would not know about Ryoshi as soon as I did without you. Thanks, brother. Pixel Army. Oh, man. Guys, we're going to talk about Ryoshi tonight because I know and I've seen the messages. Really, guys, um, thank you for all the love, but it's not me. It's the fact that the community is coming together and we are you know, all establishing positions in this token. But we have made some insane money. <laughs> Ridiculous. I have not. Ryoshi token has given me the biggest ROI ever in terms of my crypto investments ever percentage wise which is which is fun this is this is what we enjoy right because what is the ultimate motive is for us to get that to make and obtain that um what do, what do you want to <laughs> i have so many thoughts in my mind guys and i'm talking so quick so i need to slow down for a second but again that generational wealth that we all have on our radar and that's what we're looking for hopefully yes Shiba Inu is going to continue to appreciate. Shiba Inu, I think, and one of the biggest things that I need to address also is people are selling out of their positions and their other crypto assets and buying all into some of the newer tokens, right? Ryoshi, Saitama, which I personally, oh, and one thing I did forget, I personally do not do not condone selling out of your crypto assets to what? To, um, to do so. Because that's not what, I'm not doing it at all at the very least. Let me make sure I put slow mode on real quick. 25 seconds, save. There we go. Slow mode is activated. So again, um, for me, it's not to um, encourage people to sell out of their positions. I'm not doing it. And I'm going to show you guys. You guys know I love transparency. I'll show you guys my positions, holding every single token that I've already had. But anytime I get buying power, I diversify a little bit. So that's what it is. Now, next question from the main... Uh, I forgot. I wish I wrote the name, so I do apologize again. But do you know what the actual delay is with Coinbase? Do you believe it's truly a technical issue still? Have you or any other developers reached out to them? Thank you. So I thought this was a reasonable question to ask Shaitoshi because we wanted to kind of get at least his perspective. What is happening? What's going on? Why has Coinbase still not listed Shiba Inu? Literally almost two months. It's been just about two months later. We still have not been relisted. Shaitoshi says we haven't spoken to <laughs> we haven't spoken to Coinbase. Such you know one one sentence one sentence answer. And again, that's really it for Coinbase. As I mentioned to you guys time and time again, they are a publicly traded company. Let me make my screen a little bigger. So they are a publicly traded company, folks. Any publicly traded company literally has no conflict of interest in terms of what um, being just one hundred percent transparent. If they did not like Shiba Inu and the uh, this ecosystem, this community, they would just say, guys, we are not going to relist this token. But that's not what they said, right? We quickly pull up a tab here, Coinbase Shiba Inu. If we just do that, uh, Coinbase Pro, I think is what I should actually be looking for. Coinbase Pro. If you go and look at this, that help, it still says it right here. We're experiencing, look my screen smaller again. We're experiencing technical issues that will temporarily delay the launch of SHIB on Coinbase Pro. At this time, we are disabling deposits of SHIB. Withdrawals are still available. They launched this thing on their main. Um, remember, guys, they're allowing the whales to now invest into SHIB. Make sure you guys understand that. Yes, we were delisted on Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. Yes, that happened. We weren't even listed on Coinbase yet. Before it even got listed on the main platform, on the pro platform, it got delisted due to technical difficulties. But in turn, they listed SHIB on which platform? On the institutional platform with that $10 million requirement for your portfolio. So if they did if they did so for their paying members, their whales, why don't you think that they're gonna end up listing them on the main on their main platform? It's gonna happen. It's gonna take time, but those fifty-six or so million users are going to have access to SHIB. And when it happens, guys, you know what the price action is gonna do. And I'm really glad that we got delisted. Because guess what? The overall market at the time was so bearish, but now the bulls are back on. The bulls are back running, really. And the bears are slowly but surely leaving. The FUD is leaving. All the excitement is coming back into the crypto market. All-time highs are going to be reached. So that's the time we want to see good news. That's the time we want to see big exchange listings. I'm excited about the Weeble listing that's coming. So again, shout out to everybody. You guys have been killing it. By the way, for the ship army, a lot of you guys have actually clicked the link in the description and signed up for Weeble. Hopefully got your two free stocks. But really, when they see how many people are going to end up buying SHIB on Weeble, other exchanges and brokerages are going to follow. Believe that. Believe that. So let's keep going. That's that's my little um, thing about the Coinbase. 
So again, we haven't contacted Coinbase. Now, next question. Um, we got Pranjo Roy though. I can't miss that. Thank you so much for the super chat. Pranjo says, I think Ryoshi should be promoted more because that will increase ship holders. How? I got the game and we will tell you the reason in the future comments. I got the game, I'm guessing game plan, and we will tell you. We're going to talk a lot about Ryoshi tonight, but let's go ahead and finish the Q&A because again, Shatoshi Saturdays are here to stay, but we have a lot to discuss about Ryoshi, and I'm probably going to be buying more today. I know that sounds ridiculous after the run-up, but it's still so, so early for this crypto, uh, cryptocurrency and this community. Now, will Shibarium handle smart contracts? Shout out to whoever asked this because it was a fantastic question. Shatoshi response says, um, oop, I think I missed, did I? Um, will Shibarium handle, I have to come back. I think I missed, <laughs> here, give me a sec, guys. Let's look at Shiba Inu price action for a little bit as I go back into Discord and find the answer. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Will Shibarium um, handle smart contracts? Oh, man. Well, I'm going to have to just answer it directly from Telegram. I apologize, but I definitely, definitely missed that one. Okay, so the question was, will Shibarium handle smart contracts, right? Because right now, the smart, smart contracts are, they're exciting people. They're definitely exciting people. And obviously, if we see Cardano's run and how crazy it's been, a lot of people are pretty excited about it. And it makes sense, right? It's part of the future of this whole space. But real quick here, we asked will let's see will shibarium handle smart contracts uh shaitoshi's answer was not sure about this just yet so again one of those other one sentence answers but then he gets he as he said they are not 100 percent sure so that's kind of the response in regards to uh, smart contracts no answer quite yet now the next question is i think again i missed that so any plans to drop the meme classification or Inu association, right? Are there, are there any plans to drop it and maybe rebrand or rename this? Because instead of the Doge killer and all this, people are saying we need to, you know, evolve from that and change things up. Shatoshi says, LOL, <laughs> we have proven ourselves not to be a meme and we don't have to drop it. We evolve instead. We will keep evolving. I'm telling you guys, I feel like it's not too far-fetched to think Shaitoshi is... He has the troll. The troll... Res, like, his responses can be so troll-like. Very similar to Elon and, you know... I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of speculation on who this man is. One day, he's gonna show his face and let us know who he is, but... <laughs> Shaitoshi, Shaitoshi, man. That's... Yeah, just the simplicity of the answers, man. But that's what it is. And Red Star says, Crypto.com listed ships so fast. Staking 12 million. Yeah, we could talk about staking in a little bit too because there's been some really, really good arguments regarding how we need to continue to um, how we need to continue to stake because staking is what's creating you know buying pressure and causing a lot of these other crypto assets, including Cardano, to pump as significant as much as um, it has. So again, there's a response there. So when can we expect to see all the rewards and unstaking status on ShibaSwap? I think this is question number eight. Um, it is saying coming soon for a really long time now. It's frustrating to not be able to see where you stand, which I totally agree about. Also, I tried on staking a couple week, um, a couple times, but nothing happened and I lost the gas. I know a lot of you have been in this exact same boat. You've been um, utilizing the swap. You're trying to stake or unstake. And then again, it doesn't let you or... Your transaction fails and then you end up losing the gas fee which are already astronomical and ridiculous so shaitoshi here responded we are working as fast as we can on this but the higher priority set by the community was implementing a burn the other issue we are running into is finding developers that are trusted so this is an open call if you are willing to work with us on uh if you're willing to work with us these improvements, please email us. So Shaitoshi and the team are actually looking for people. We got G Money in the chat. I see you, G Money. Welcome. Appreciate you so much. Welcome, G Money, to the stream. But yeah, anywho, you guys, for anybody that has 
blockchain experience who has any experience with um this kind of platform just understand these guys came together as developers as people who are you know crypto enthusiasts who had this vision especially ryoshi being the fact that he you know knows a lot about ethereum but again for erc20 tokens to develop them it's relatively easy it's not too difficult to do but to start implementing these new changes that people want to see again and making sure ensuring that there's timely um rewards being distributed to all the um all the investors and the holders yes it's frustrating yes it's frustrating when things go bad or when you lose money from gas fees and don't get your transaction to get completed but again they're actively trying to work on this they're trying to do what we're asking for right the community burns we're trying to see utility burns not community burns so pardon me there but when it comes to all these things that they're trying to implement they they need help and that's again that's the coolest thing about this crypto asset is you and i if anybody has the ability or the experience all you have to do is let them just let them know reach out Re, um reach out and say hey i'm interested in this or hey i have experience in this this and that they'll interview you and that's all they're looking for trusted individuals that are experts in their respective field when it comes to what this kind of thing so computer engineers computer scientists whoever you are someone who's just familiar and knows what they're doing so again make sure you guys send them an email and you guys saw on shaitoshi's medium he has the email there it's i think wolf at shibatoken.com and all we can correct that a little bit and go back and see what it was saying so there's the answer now another good question what is planned to get bone more exposure so i don't know if kandasia or the bone collector is here but I think he'd be pretty excited because I know he's super bullish on Bone. And so am I. I think it's going to have really, it has a bright future ahead of it as the um, governance token, as the spokesman, if you will, of this uh, crypto space. But regardless, what is planned for more exposure? Eric, one of the devs, states um, his CMC listing had been denied three times. We have all been kindly asking for a listing. What else can be done? Any plans to approach exchanges to list Bone? <laughs> Shaitoshi, we have been approaching. <laughs> so it looks like the developers are attempting and doing the best that they can to get Bone listed. But it's still not happening. A lot of these exchanges are just dragging their feet. Um, even Coin Market Cap, it's been a struggle. I know we've been casting our votes trying to get Bone listed. But again, it's just, I don't know, there's just been delays all around that space. So again, just a waiting game. We're waiting to see where it goes. And they're doing the best that they can to get it listed. James Bond 007. My man, thank you so much for the $5 super chat. says, hi, Uncle Shiba. <laughs> I heard that Weeble listed Shiba for trade today, but saw no increases in ship price. So this information is true or false? Thank you, James. Um, and then Sean says, Shiba Inu is a sleeping giant. Trust me. Oh, man, Sean. Uh, I'm right there with you, my friend. But... James, Shiba Inu is currently not officially listed on Coinbase yet. It's currently going undergoing beta testing. So not like, for example, I'm on my, let me pull up my Weeble and I'll show you what it says to me. So I'm going to click on SHIB USD. See, this is what it says on my phone. Let me show you real quick. If you let me make my screen a little bit bigger. There it is. You could see what it says at the bottom of my phone there. Ah. I don't know if a lot of you guys are getting that same message. It's right at the bottom. But all it basically says is this cryptocurrency is not tradable on Weeble. But if you see some of the emails and some of the responses and what's going on, it's undergoing beta testing for some people. So some individuals are actually able to um, go in and start trading ship. So they opened it to a, ra a random select few of individuals. So again, this is just basically they're doing a soft launch, just like they did with Dogecoin. Thankfully, you know, I was actually invited to the Dogecoin beta testing. So they sent me an email and they asked me to make a video about it. This was way back a few months ago, um, right around 420. So this was April 2021 that that happened. And about a week or two after, I think it was a week after the beta testing ended. That's when Dogecoin officially got listed on the platform. So again, um, yeah, that's kind of what's going on with Weeble right now. But all, I'm, all I've been telling everybody who's excited about Weeble is make sure you click the link in the description and sign up. Get your two free stocks. And at the same time, up to $2,300 could be yours, of course, 
take advantage, get it, and as soon as ship gets listed, we need to destroy Coinbase by left and right. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm establishing a position for sure on we Weeble because when they put up their analytics and they put up their earnings reports, whatever it might be, they're not publicly traded yet. But once they make those kind of announcements, just like Voyager did, just like any of these other crypto assets did, that's the thing we want to see because, hey, it's going to start exciting individuals and say, oh, okay, like Robinhood, right? They're going to be like, oh, Weeble did it. They beat us to it, right? Coinbase might be like, oh, Weeble did it. We need to get on it. So, yeah, those are some of the, uh, that's all for the presentation, by the way, for this week. Again, I've caught, and you guys saw what they said on the uh, Discord earlier. Looks like there's a lot of, um, unfortunately, it's just some of the devs are dealing with some, not the devs directly, but family members are dealing with health issues. And anybody right now, of course, with the Delta variant on the rise and everything in terms of this pandemic, looks like things are going downhill again. So just please be as safe as you can. You know, practice social distancing yet again. Do the best that you can. Wear a mask if you can. Um, but yeah, I just want everyone to be safe from the ship army and just in general. Do the best that you can. So now for what you guys have probably been waiting for. What you guys have probably been waiting for, we're going to touch on Ryoshi a little bit. Because Ryoshi has been on absolute fire. It has been going mad, folks. Let me make my screen a bit smaller so you guys can see. Look at this token. Look at this token. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Let's look at it. Oh, the Shiba Bone Collector is definitely in the chat. Shout out Kandasia. Thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Kandasia says, I'm hopeful that Coinbase will list Shiba. Bone and Leash at the same time. If it's taking this long, my guess is, um, my guess it has to be for something spectacular. But yes, we do need all three listed. Agreed. Agreed. So again, maybe they will. Maybe they will decide to list the three of them you know, simultaneously, which would be absolutely insane. Um, at least for me, I think I could see Bone and Shib. But my goodness, just imagine what that would do. Just imagine. So, my question still didn't make the cut. Ben Adi. Oh, Ben. I forgot you DM'd me a question. Oh, man. Ben, you, <laughs> I got your back, man. Uh, let me actually, here. I'm going to send Shatoshi the question right now and see if he responds as Ben. My apologies, man. I remember you sent me a DM and I said I got you, but look at me not following through. My apologies, my friend. Here, probably a tad late for Shaitoshi here. Copy message. I'm going to send this over real quick. Give me one sec. Let me go on Telegram. We have, we have one more question from the stream. All right. Let me send this over. If he responds at any time tonight while we're streaming, I'll respond. Otherwise, uh, Ben, I'll respond to you privately and I'll list this as a question for next, for the next one because you really asked a fantastic question in my opinion. So just so you guys are aware, what is Ben Audi's, um, Ben Audi's question? So he says, uh, right here, uh, another exchange which shall remain nameless, but let's just say that they deal with um, Gorilla Food have recently released their own swap and one of their features is being able to withdraw wolf their rewards as withdraw all thus saving money on gas fees is this something that maybe shiba swap could utilize in the future a centralized section of the swap in which you can see all the unwoofed rewards bone ship usd t die collectively and you're able to woof them all in one transaction therefore one gas fee ben man i'm so sorry that i missed that question but wow i think it's absolutely phenomenal phenomenal so again it's something that hopefully he'll respond to tonight and again my apologies my man can't believe i forgot to ask it all right guys when we will list ship let's all buy 25 dollars worth now that i will pledge i will pledge to buy 25 more than 25 dollars worth but i'm totally down now for ryoshi i know a lot of people have been kind of just um you know there's just been difference of opinions on this token which I 110% respect. But I have to tell you guys, any crypto asset that is developed between now and the rest of the year or the years to come that is backed by the developers of Shiba Inu is going to excite me and I'll probably, more likely than not, mention it on the channel and also invest into it. And look what's happened with Ryoshi. It's been going absolutely 
insane prime joe roy thank you so much for the super chat my man the 200 rupees i love the fact that it has all the different currencies on this but he says why ryoshi will increase ship holders is that because if you buy ryoshi you get 98 percent but if you want 100 percent, you need to buy ship and stake it so indirectly ship holders increase so prime joe the thing about ryoshi is right now it's a new token obviously right how many days has it been it basically became a token on the 8th of august Begin early 9th, end of the 8th of August or so, approximately, right? The 7th of August, I guess. Regardless, so it's a, it's a one-week-old token, and their tokenomics have to do a lot with SHIB. That's literally why they developed it. Ryoshi, Ryoshi Vision. Right? An ERC-20 token. So if you see their tokenomics, it literally is 100% piggybacked off of SHIB. So, and what I think they did, and this is why I think it's absolutely brilliant, is the fact is they developed this token at a time and a place where literally all the things that the Shiba Inu holders have been asking for, they implemented on this token. That's A. B, all the developers back it. What did Shaitoshi say on his Medium post? He said in his own words, Maybe I shouldn't paraphrase, so maybe I could pull it up in a second. But he said, you know, the behavior and the things that they've implemented with this is what, they, you know, again, they encourage it. They encourage these kind of tokenomics. What did Kyle say, the main developer of Shiba Inu? After Ryoshi did his part and he left, Kyle now took over. K-A-A-L is his username um, on Twitter. Again, also, uh, he's not Doc, so we don't know who the true identity. But regardless, the main developer of the ecosystem for right now also backs this one. He even tweeted about it, folks. So for all the Shiba Inu holders, in my opinion, it's like, okay, maybe wait for it to cool off if you'd like. And again, not a financial advisor. I can't tell you whether to buy or sell. But for me, it was kind of a no-brainer. So once, again, at this point, it's been about five days since we bought in. But look at this thing. This thing, literally, we got in. I thought, you know, okay, yeah, sure, an initial pump came. But we bought in at 600 or 6,000, and again, I'm not going to go by Shitoshi, uh, uh, Shitoshi units, Satoshi units, excuse me. I'm just going to go directly based off the price we got in. Forget the zeros for now. But we literally got in right around, it was 600, uh, right around here, I'd say. 650, 6,500, excuse me. Since that moment that we bought in, it didn't 2x, it didn't 3x, it didn't 4x. This thing has more than almost five times, five X in the span of three days, right? Because a lot of the ship holders are getting in on Ryoshi. And you guys can see, right? This is on DexGuru. This thing is not on CoinMarketCap yet. It has no exchange listings. It's only available to buy on the swap. And I think it's so early for this token. Now, again, being able to stomach volatility is one of the number one things that people have to be able to do. Look at this. Literally today, it came all the way down to 19,968. And then it doubled over, pretty much doubled between, what is that? <laughs> 1130 and now. So make sure you understand volatility is going to be absolutely ridiculous with this token. But in terms of short term potential, there's a lot. There's a lot. And again, it's just my opinion. 100% just my opinion. And as it, says, as it says right at the bottom of the video here and the page, I am not a financial advisor. So if somehow, some way it sells off significantly, hey, that's what ends up happening. I'm not going to be upset because again, I'm, I'm investing money that I'm willing. Uh, it's any, anytime it comes to any investments, especially in the crypto space, it's money that you're willing to lose. Obviously, I don't want to lose it. But again, that's just kind of my take there. Adriano, thank you so much for the $10 super charm. He says, hi, bro. What do you think? Of the potential of wink btt torrent and doge i don't know what wink is at all my man or btt torrent but doge again i think uh, i'm holding my doge so i bought doge on a couple different platforms and i've been holding ever since the initial pump where it was it was literally just on fire i bought an at i can't even remember i think it was 12 i bought it originally at eight cents sold at like 17 cents and then I bought some more and then it pulled back and then I sold. It was a bumpy ride, but I ended I'm right now I'm holding with a cost average probably of 35 cents, so a little more than it is right now. But I think that because of the backing that it has and the excitement and you know the mass adoption that it has already received, 
I think that $1 price target for Dogecoin is very, very reasonable and realistic. But again, I'm more bullish on Shiba Inu than Dogecoin. So that's why my position in Do um, SHIB is so much more significant than Doge. Uh, let's see here. And that's Corona, uh, what is that? Corona guy, 27 with a $3 super chat. Thank you so much. Ryo doesn't even have a white paper yet. Exactly, exactly. There are so many reasons why. Again, this is this token here, anyone who invests in it between now and the release of the white paper, just understand that you're very, very early, right? With its market cap even. Anybody in the chat right now, can you guys let us know what the market cap is for this? If it's on CoinGecko, is it actually Ryoshi Vision? CoinGecko. Oh yeah, right here. Let's see. Total supply, max supply, trading volume, fully diluted, valuation. We're not looking for fully diluted. What I what I struggle to find is the market cap. We could probably calculate this, right? But does anybody know the current market cap? And can you give us a link to where to find market cap for Ryoshi? That's something that I've been wondering. That's something that I have been wondering myself. But yeah, guys, it has been absolutely insane. Let's go on to swap real quick. Oh, not Shiba. Oh, we can go from their main website, Shiba Token. Let's go on the swap. Use Shiba Swap. Because the only place to buy this token as of right now is, <laughs> is on um, the swap. So again, backed by the devs. Wait for Binance listing. Do you guys, All I'm saying is that this is like, in my opinion, again, take what I say for a grain of salt. But in my opinion, this token, Ryoshi, is like buying Shiba Inu in like April, March. That's a hot take. But again, my just my opinion. Now, is it gonna have the same community backing and exponential rise, right? That, how many zeros did it initially have in April? So on April, it had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros, five, and it went up all the way to four zeros, three, five. So, um, yeah, you could do the math there. It didn't 10x, it didn't 20x, it didn't 30. <laughs> Much more than that. <laughs> so that's just my opinion. It's on live. It's on live coin watch. 321.6 million market cap. SJ, I don't think that's accurate. I don't think that's accurate because that's the fully diluted market cap, which is a little bit different. SJ and then SJ says, or Armin says, 690 people watching right now and only 257 likes. Let's get that like. Let's get the likes up. The more people that would be able to watch, the more likes we get on the video, of course. So smash that like button, guys. All it takes is literally moving your cursor and hitting like. Hopefully not too much, too much that I'm asking for. But let's keep talking about some other things. Oh, and I think I might have missed. I missed a super chat here. My bad. Um, that's BG Cleave with the five dollars. He says, "What is she, and how can we buy it on ShibaSwap?" Also, um, do you think Ryoshi has Ryoshi has any potential? Saitama, what happened? BG. You're making some, you know, again, very, very valid points here. So she is currently unavailable. It's one of the things, if you look at uh, Shaitoshi's medium, Shaitoshi medium on phase two, she is going to be, it's going to be basically a stable token. It's going to be a stable token pegged to the penny, and it's currently unavailable. It's part of their phase two, um, phase two roadmap, if you will. So she pegs to the penny, the 0, 0 0.01, and it allows the plebs to have fully decentralized tokens. This is per Ryoshi, uh, Shaitoshi's words, that can be used for exchanging goods without concern of the change in value day to day or even minute to minute. This is especially important when dealing with, a bus with businesses that have invoices to get paid 30 days out or when dealing with transactions that aren't instantly settleable, credit cards. So again, it's looking to, you know, kind of um, disrupt payment systems and then they're also working on finding the perfect methodology to implement this token and ryoshi again the main dev says the end goal that is that she operating on both the ethereum and shibirium blockchain becomes a global stable currency that plebs across all countries are able to use as both a store of value and 
uh, method of payment in Ryoshi's vision. So Lee, uh, Leash governs Xi specifically. So again, they're trying to give utility to some of these other crypto assets that are part of their ecosystem, which I think is brilliant. So we are investigating how how exact this portion of uh, of his vision of his vision while granting more power and utility to one of my favorite tokens, Lee. She says. So again, that's what she is, and I hope that answers your question, my friend. Let's keep looking here. Um, exactly. And Pranjo Roy, man, thank you, Pranjo, dropping the 100 repo. Rep ah, I can't even speak. Rupees. Thank you, my man. He says, it's Independence Day today in India on the 15th of August. And I hope SHIB will give us Indians the financial independence that we are looking for. I love it. And that's one thing that I wanted to share with you guys for analytics. You know what's insane? This is going to probably blow your mind, Pranjal. So I look at my YouTube analytics often just to kind of see, you know, viewership. I look at, you know, time of day that's best to upload when most people are on. So the United States obviously has that's where i get the majority of my viewers but you know what comes second before the uk and others it's india which really just caught me off guard i was so so surprised when i saw that but it excited me i was like all right we, we got we got a big big backing from from india so shout out to the entire um uh country of india and all the ones watching from there that just it amazes me it really does it amazes me gotta love it Arawiya says, can you please tell your honest opinion on how much will Shiba price be by December? Adawiya, so answering your question there, in my opinion, just my opinion, I think we will at least see all-time highs for SHIB by end of 2021. And that's, again, that's at the very least because of all the things that are coming. Shibarium's goal, their goal is to have Shibarium or L2 live by the end. Look what's happening with the stock market. I don't know if you guys have been seeing right because i see i see you uh so imperial beats in the chat so he brings up always the good price stock price amc stock price he brought up a really good point in that the whole short squeeze with amc a lot of the hype has been dying out on amc and we know the market got stripped heavily the crypto market got stripped pretty heavily after people jumped into um the wall street bets types uh moves so again for amc it looks like things are starting to die out a little bit the excitement is starting to fall out the overall crypto market is starting that bull run again and it looks like the cycle is half literally mirroring we've gained over i think it's we were at 1.5 500 billion us dollar equivalents have come into the market over the last month month and a half so not even month and a half, yeah about a month now so the bulls are out folks the bulls are definitely out and it excites me <laughs> of course as an investor i get ex i get very very excited but that's what it is. Things go through cycles. Hype goes through cycles and everything else goes through cycles as well. AMC and GME to the moon says Ennis. Love it, man. I'm still holding personally. I'm a bag holder, I think is what people would call me. Yeah, but right now we're, for Ryoshi again, we're at all-time highs. Just hanging out. Literally just at all-time highs. And so do I think there's potential, somebody asked, for Ryoshi? I do. I do. As long as SHIB continues to do well and the... Um, the developers do a good job of continuously keeping everyone excited and hyped about it. I think Ryoshi will also do well in other crypto assets that are part of this space or anyone that has to do any affiliation with the Shiba Inu platform or ecosystem. I think it's going to do well. And what Ryoshi, what Ryoshi's team did with Ryoshi Vision, brilliant. And this part right here, I think, is what's exciting most. There's two things. The bots, cool. But rewarding XShib and burying, burning all the time, excuse me. That's the thing that we have to continue to look at. So they are rewarding users that have buried SHIB on ShibaSwap by redistributing 1% of every transaction to anybody holding XSHIB. Make sure you use your slippage so then they kind of address that and then burning all the time. So they know and they saw the demand that we have for burns. And we heard your call and made the token burn. 1% of every transaction to the Shiba token contact address forever will be burned directly to it. 1% of every transaction. So it mimics and follows kind of Saitama Inu's burn mechanism as well. With every transaction, there's redistribution and a burn. So again, the redistribution only occurs for those who are carrying X SHIB, or not carrying, but holding, excuse me. Big shout out to Heavy Metal Chef having issues with uh, completing MetaMask transa transactions on Ether. Times out before completes confirmation. Any tips? Times out before completing confirmations. Anybody that uses 
Um, anybody that uses, what is that platform called? MetaMask, do you have any input on that? Because I know a lot of people have been helping with troubleshooting, but for me, I know for the swap using ShibaSwap, the big thing that I always have to do before I click swap tokens is this right here, the little syringe, transaction settings, the slippage tolerance. Every single time, if I don't have at least 2.5% slippage, it continues to either time out or fail. And that's one of the mo that's one of the main things um, that's one of the main things that helped kind of alleviate that issue and also paying the gas fee, making sure that I pay the near full amount or the fast, fast amount instead of just the regular. So those are the two things that I've done that helped address kind of some of the issues. And let's look at Saitama because I know a lot of people have mentioned it. Saitama, you know, yeah, it's pulled back heavily. My goodness. It pump, pump, pumped all the way to, what is that? 30 We'll just say 3,662, skipping the zeros, of course. So yeah, it's just continuing to sell off because I feel like what's happening right now is um, people switching from one, mass, one asset to the other. And just so you guys are aware, right? What, what have I done with my Saitama? I'm holding every single one. Saitama, you guys could see right here. Saitama Inu, still holding. Because again, I put money into it that I was willing to risk. And I think with the wallet and some of the things that they had on their pipeline, there could be some potential. But I'm guessing the majority of people that were holding their Saitama tokens are probably rotating to Ryoshi, which is dangerous. But look at Ryoshi right now, all time highs. And I think the potential is absolutely huge. It is. It is. Because if we look at market cap and value, right, for Ryoshi right now, it's basically going through its initial pump. And it's only been out for such a short period of time, too, which, of course, will excite people. And look how many zeros did um, this one have? Uh, see, 175,000. When I want to look at its trade, the 24-hour trade volume. So, once its trade volume got to around where Ryoshi's is right now, so let's see, it was right around, right here, on July 29th. We're looking at nine, 10 million, 24-hour trade volume. Look what's happening with Ryoshi right now. The trade volume is at 11.5 million dollars. Huge. Buying pressure is on. A lot of people are joining in. There's not that many holders. I think we have just, I think we just hit 5,000 on this token. So it's pretty big. It's pretty big. So again, lots of different, and this, I don't even know how to address this really, but there are so many different crypto assets that are coming um, about right now. Ryoshi right? Because people are always trying to look for that next big token. And I think one of the biggest mistakes that individuals are doing, just my opinion, of course, is they're selling out of their positions. And then they're buying into some of the new ones. I personally wouldn't recommend that. Now, if you're bullish, and you're excited, and you think that's going to be the right thing to do, hey, by all means, do what you got to do to make your money. But in my opinion, it's, you know, for me, it's hold other position, um, other to continue to hold my other tokens, if it's Saitama, if it's um, SHIB, if it's Bone, if it's Leash, hold those crypto assets. And then um, once I have buying power, get in on the new projects that I like. Because again, nothing changed with my thesis for SHIB. And I don't know for you guys, but I'm guessing a lot of you, um, again, are also just still as excited and holding on to your, um, your tokens as well. But some people are making pretty big investor mistake in that selling selling their other tokens even you know the the tokens they've been holding on for a really long time and then trying to get into some of these more speculative plays that are pumping at extreme rates yes it's nice to see but always make sure you're just be, just be as careful as you possibly can that's all i can say and for me i'm loving it i'm loving seeing these absolutely ridiculous gains it is insane <laughs> insane literally going to all-time highs right now crazy fam and what do we have here steven sparato dropping the five dollars thank you so much steven he says why has bone fallen so low and any thoughts on when it will go back up steven i actually i so i don't know so i know that there's more and more still coming into circulation but the answer is i really don't know i can't say for sure why that is right it seems like it's been fluctuating between a dollar 90 or so to two dollars 30 right around there and I think it just makes it difficult that's another thing that 
in my opinion, so if I was a developer of Shiba, uh, for the SHIB ecosystem, personally, what I would do, and again, this is just my own opinion. Who am I, right? I'm just a guy that likes crypto assets and crypto cryptocurrencies, crypto enthusiasts, right? That's what we're trying to call ourselves now. But regardless, I th what I would do is I would combine the three, Leash, SHIB, and Bone into one crypto asset. Instead of dividing up um, funds across the three, imagine the, init the initial um, SHIB price action that we saw, the initial pump, which was back in May 2021, you know, now about three months ago, we saw that happen because, again, it was all eyes on one crypto. So right now people have its, what's the term I'm looking for? The paradox of choice. Let me Google this real quick. Paradox. Paradox of choice. This is like extremely interesting. The paradox of choice. Why more is less. Uh, nope, this is a book though. I'm not trying to read the book. I'm trying to read, where is it? Summary. Here it is. Autonomy and freedom of choice are critical are critical to our well-being and choice is critical sorry i'm gonna go off on a tangent here for a second and choice is critical to freedom and autonomy nonetheless though modern americans have more choice than any group of people um, ever before and thus presumably more freedom and autonomy we don't seem to be benefiting from its uh psych uh psychological uh, what we don't seem to be benefiting from it psychologically this quote was from the book from this guy named schwartz that's not what I was looking for, but I'm looking for the direct definition. But I think that kind of, and again, I said Americans, but this is everyone. Let's see. It's been like a decade since I've even read anything about this. Uh, the paradox of choice um, stipulates that while we might believe that being presented with multiple options actually makes it easier to choose one that we are happy with and thus increases consumer satisfaction having an abundance of options actually requires more effort to make a decision and can leave us feeling let's look at this i kind of like this decisions lab let's see this is what happens when you stream late night you go through these weird um, thought processes but anywho i think you guys get the point so let's just go back to just that quick and short. So we think that we believe that being presented with multiple options, bone, shib, and leash, for example, um, it is going to make it easier for us to choose one that will that we're going to be happy with, right? But that's not what's happening. Even for me, when it comes to the paradox of choice, it's like, what is what is going to be better? What is going to be best? And obviously, the developers are probably not going to think about it too much. But like, what it does is it ends up causing this division this unintended division amongst the community right there's though there are those um bone uh bulls there are the leash bulls and there are the ship bulls for me it's like okay i don't know what to choose from so i'm going to divide up into the three but i don't know if you guys agree with me i don't know but i think it would be the paralysis of analysis red star 7311 that that sounds like it might be actually probably more accurate but it's like we don't know what to choose literally we have no idea so what we do is like right we have shiba bone collector someone that has seen significant gains with their bone investment and continues to be you know excited about that one for me it's like okay but you know then it's like ah oh, what if bone doesn't go to the projected price that we have for me it's like i think bone will reach 50 dollars 100 dollars it sensibly right being the voice as long as this ecosystem continues to flourish and we start seeing more and more excitement big listings on these big platforms of course i think we're going to get the community backing we're going to have those we're going to have millions of followers or excuse me millions of holders in the short short and long term but it still makes it difficult for a new investor right someone gets right in to um the ecosystem they decide to buy ship it's like hmm about a thousand dollars worth of ship but what's up with leash it looks like you can get some really nice rewards if you um, you know, put into the liquidity pool a leash bone combo. All right, I'm gonna buy some bone now too. I might sell some shib for bone. So it makes it very difficult to choose, which does not help our case. So in my opinion, I think it would be so much better if they combined the three and go from there. Which obviously is not gonna happen. That's just me giving you guys my two cents, of course. But yeah, I don't know. Still so much excitement. So much excitement. All right, and M Thompson seventy four. Thanks so much for five dollars. And he says, 
I have Ryoshin liquidity on ShibaSwap. I started with one billion there, now 485 million. Am I losing my Ryoshi in liquidity on ShibaSwap? Um, M. Thompson, what's your what's your liquidity pair? Uh, Ryoshi, what? If you don't mind me asking, just to make sure. And Thin Air Construction also dropping the five dollars. Thank you so much, my man. It says, will a Shiba game come out to make utility? That's not currently on their pipeline, but Thin Air, if you have if you have ideas like that, my friend, I say reach out to the developers. Um, that's something we can ask about too. New listing on Shibble. <laughs> Shibble, I should like that. Ilyas, he says, brother, the entire market has been on fire. We had media coverage, banners, ads, marketing, develop, uh, devs, ShibaSwap, and God knows what else. But I kind of think people are scared and there's too much fear. Too much fear, Ilyas, in, or Elias, in this platform, like this ecosystem being Shib. Or what exactly do you mean by you think there's too much fear? Just to make sure I understand. Ethereum to Ryoshi on ShibaSwap. Jamal. Wait, let's see what Thompson says. Ryoshi wrapped Ethereum. So I'm not sure, M. Thompson. So let's see. Let's go on to swap here. Create a pair. So you have wrapped Ethereum with Ryoshi. Well, hold on. So what I'm wondering, hmm, I think what's happening, M. Thompson, is that Ryoshi's price has been going up. No, that doesn't make sense, though. You had a billion to start, and now you have 485 million. I'm not sure about that. Are you sure that's, that's correct? Because that doesn't sound right to me. Angel Robles, my man Angel, welcome. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while for sure. Been busy, but it's the first time I've made it on for a while. Welcome back, man. Adam Adam Fang says Ryoshi increased in price, so there will be um, IL from the liquidity pair. Impermanent loss, I think, is what he means by IL. Yeah. Imp I always have to go back and look at this because and I think Binance explains it the best. So let's see. So you started with a billion. Now you're at 485 million. Let's go ahead and just make sure we got it. So too long didn't read. If you've been involved in DeFi at all, you almost certainly heard this term thrown around. Impermanent loss happens when the price of your tokens changes compared to when you deposited them into the pool. The larger the change, the bigger the loss. So obviously, Ryoshi you probably got in very, 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 very early, right? So um, you got in early and you wrapped it with Ethereum. Ryoshi's price has skyrocketed. Ethereum's price has went up by 20, 15 to 20% probably in that time period, 10, 15%. S wait, so can I lose money by providing liquidity? And why is the loss impermanent? And real quick, let me just make sure we get um, Shiba Bone Collector Kandesha. You are so right. Even for a bone collector like myself, earning approximately 160 bones from a bone Ethereum pair, I still wonder, what if ships blow up while I'm having while I'm heavy on bones? I might miss out. And that's what makes it so hard, um, Shiba Bone Collector Kandesha. That's what makes the decision so difficult in investing heavily into one asset instead of the three. And that's why for me, it's just been, it's been a struggle. I've had so much difficulty, but again, it's, it's going with your gut, right? You have to decide for yourself, what is it that I want to do? Where do I want to go? And what do I have in terms of your vision and, you know, just kind of your, your thesis? Like, where do you see things going for this, for this crypto, um, the entire <sighs> spacing out again, cause I saw rigor mortis pop in the chat, but again, just looking at it as we don't know exactly what's going to happen with the entire ecosystem. We don't know what this governance token is going to do in terms of votes because we have not seen any utility for Bone up to this point because we haven't been able to make much decisions. But hopefully, again, in terms of voting and that kind of thing, it's going to change the game and get people excited on Bone. But you're right. What if SHIB gets listed on Coinbase and then we see it literally just double in a few days? It can happen. It can happen. So again, going back to um, impermanent loss, um, so can I lose money by providing liquidity? And why is the loss impermanent? Well, it comes from an um, inherent design 
characteristic of a special kind of market called automated market maker. Providing liquidity to a liquidity pool can be profitable venture, but you'll need to keep the concept of permanent loss in mind. So there's a really good, within this, that's a TLDR, but I don't know. But I think um, rigor mortis might have touched on that. Because he says that's literally the definition. But I'm still confused. So you had a billion coming in, and now it came down to 485 million. I'm a little confused by that, though, because I did not think that the actual tokens that you have decrease. I did not think that that was, that was what impermanent loss meant. Maybe we need to reread this a little bit. <laughs> Aldo Garcia he says, hey, Pop, so is it a good idea to buy Ryoshi or wait to see the rewards from XShip? Aldo, man, I can't tell anyone whether to buy or sell, but Ryoshi has been on fire, man. I don't know. It, it's still so early to tell. The community is growing. The white paper is coming out. And if it excites investors and it gets on coin market cap, Binance decides to list it 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 X, it's possible. And the fact that that's possible is, you know, that's what tells me, hey, take a risk and invest into this crypto asset. Because I don't want it to be another thing that I miss on, right? We're in SHIB, holding strong, but along the way of our investing, our investment journey, we will find opportunities that will make us all potentially big money. So... That's what it is. And look at this. You guys can see the, the green and red candles. Look how much four, $4,500 affects um, price action. Look at that. Two people selling. $3,700 worth, $1,400. By the way, I've been very addicted to looking at this chart each and every day. It has been ridiculous, but <laughs> literally just that. Literally just that. So let's go ahead and see. And Drigamore says his 1 billion Ryoshi is now 300 million Ryoshi. So I think literally what's happening is that impermanent loss is what's it's affecting you because your Ryoshi is going up so fast, but your Ethereum is not. Now, let's keep let's keep reading a little bit more about impermanent loss. So we kind of we all have maybe a, um, a better idea of what it what it what it, what it, what it, it I can't even talk. What it actually means. So I've done this before. This has been a, probably a month or two now. But a permanent loss happens when you provide liquidity to a liquidity pool and the price of your deposited assets change compared to when you deposited them. Ryoshi skyrocketed. The bigger the change, the more you are exposed to impermanent loss. In this case, the loss means less dollar value at the time of withdrawal than at the time of deposit. So I hope that makes sense. Bit up or down, it looks like. The bigger the change, regardless of what you deposit from, the more you'll experience impermanent loss. So, Condesia, make sure you also understand this is the bone collector, because I know you're super bullish on bone. Just make sure you understand that between the time you deposit and later on, if bone goes to $100, say 10Xs, just make sure you understand, or 100Xs, just make sure you understand that, that, big, that big potential for impermanent loss. And Shiba Bone Collector says with the $10 Super Chat, again, thank you so much for your support tonight and every night, of course. I might miss out in the short term, but in the long term, I will have over 35000 by January. That's a 100% increase from today where I am. I'll take my chances with two gold bars as opposed to one. I love it. Always assess your own risk tolerance and see where you go. And Adriano, man, my ears are sweating. Is that weird? Adriano says, will Ryoshi go on CoinSpot Australian platform? If not... What's a good American platform? Can I transfer my Ryoshi from one trading platform to another once the Australian coin spot lists it? Is that what's next? Um, is that what's next for Ryoshi? Because again, I have, yes, I've been looking at the chart, but I haven't been really looking at news catalysts or actual listing catalysts or anything like that. Listing news, not catalysts. So could very well be though. Right now, the only place that I currently buy and hold is I buy directly from um, I buy directly from ShibaSwap because that's the only place to hold right now. Or excuse me, buy. So hopefully that makes some sense there. And Lossic1 says smash that like button, folks. If you haven't already, we have 380 likes, 644 people on the stream. So if you haven't already, smash that like button. Let's get this stream out to more people. Let's get this stream out to more people. So coin spot Australian platform. I'm not certain, Adriano. It might be what's next. It might be what's next. Yeah, Saitama has been. 
I don't know, ridiculous. I'm not going to. There's no way I'm going to sell right now because that, that's pointless to me. But wow. Just huge sell-offs left and right. And I'm guessing so many people are just rotating, coming into what? Ryoshi. So many ERC-20 tokens, man. It's been, it's been overwhelming. I know a lot of people are overwhelmed by, the again, that paradox of choice. What is the next best thing? Where should I go? What do I do? Not quite sure, though. Not quite sure. Rigor Mortis, are you still here? What you on, man? I'm holding with your pop, says Jamal. Hey, Jamal, I'm holding, but again, remember, like the, the holdings I have are, I'm not worried at all with the investment I made. I think it was, I started with about, a, I think it was $1,000 that I bought into and just holding. That's all I'm doing. It's a strong, long-term hold for me. That's all it is. My man, so Imperial Beats. Oh, man. <laughs> Crazy, dude. <laughs> So Imperial Beats with the $50 Super Chat. Man, oh man. So Imperial Beats, I hope that you got into Ryoshi when I made a video on it. Or or, um, or you just made some kind of gains, man. Because I appreciate all your support. So hopefully I helped you out in any way, shape, or form. But he says, um, someone sitting in the shade. Someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Warren Buffett. Whew. With the knowledge drop. <laughs> Patience is key. Bone will rise along with the whole ecosystem. The devs have proven um, they know how to adapt, um, adapt successfully. What's up, Pop? My man, so Imperial Beats, doing good, my friend? And yeah, dude, I, I totally agree with you. That's why I'm not worried. I, I never get worried. And I just, I hope that I can bring that kind of conviction to everyone else. But for me, it's just, it's a time thing. I've already made my mistakes. I've I've regretted things in the past in terms of my investments. I sold at the bottom, <laughs> bought at the top, been there, done that, and I'm not gonna repeat myself again, really. So that's why I decided to make these videos in this channel. It's like, hey, don't fall into the mistakes that I've already made. And if you believe in something, if you have conviction, if it has a true, a decent roadmap, bright future. And the one thing that I need to make sure you guys all continue to hear that I mention is, it's okay to secure profits. Once something doubles, triples, quadruples in price, it's okay to take your initial investment out and play with only your gains. Therefore, you're gonna have a lot less emotional attachment to that investment. I think the biggest thing that sets people back is they're very emotionally connected and emotionally um, you know, invested in their financial investments in the crypto space or the stock market. Which causes what? When things drop by 10, 20, 30, 40%, people get upset and they sell out. They get scared. You get that emotion. You let your emotions carry over. And that's what differentiates great investors from newbie investors. Just my opinion. So again, appreciate you. So Imperial Beats, thank you so much for dropping that. One more time. Someone's sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Shout out to So Imperial Beats. Dropping the big knowledge, dropping the big and the good word from the man himself, Mr. Warren Buffett. And M. Thompson with the $5 as well. Thank you so much, M. Thompson. He says, should I remove my Ryoshi from liquidity pair? I also have 1.23 billion of my Ryoshi in MetaMask wallet, not in liquidity. Um, that has doubled in value. Man, M. Thompson, it's ultimately up to you. I decided not to stake or do anything with Ryoshi because I knew that appreciation value was going to probably overcome or outpace anything that you'll get from from um, providing liquidity. And I didn't want to really mess with the permanent loss because I was like, wait a second. Um, again, didn't have a full grasp around it, which we continue. Uh, and so Imperial Beast says, I got big gains, my brother. Congratulations, man. I'm happy for you. <laughs> that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. If I can just help you guys all make money, that's ultimately what I'm here for. So appreciate that and happy for you, man. So in my opinion, M. Thompson, I'm gonna to continue to hold Ryoshi. My investment has literally, <laughs> if I, <laughs> it's been absolutely insane, absolutely insane. And I think again, we're just getting started. We're just getting started. When I see people cash out, let them cash out. We're so early on that in my opinion, for this one here, 
right? I can make a price prediction and we can analyze how the chart has been going. But with how the overall chart has been going, we found new level of support right around the 18,000, 19,000 mark, right? Because after a significant sell-off, we bounce right off of that. And then we're continuing to see what, what we're looking at right here. If we just look at the overall chart, hopefully you guys can see that pretty clearly on the screen. It's just simple. I'm not even drawing trend lines or anything. But when you see this here, that parabolic, right? That parabola, that parabolic trend, that scares people. We like to see some sell-offs to see where our new established levels of support. So what happened was we saw the first sell-off after the significant one. Yeah, many sell-offs on the way, but nothing significant. The first significant sell-off happened at 30, 32,000. And we saw it come all the way down to 21,000. That's significant. That's double-digit red, pretty significant losses. But we tested a new level of support. Bounced off of that, came back down. We broke that support line, but now it looks like we established a very solid level of support, 18,500. So for me, as a new investor, right, as someone who just got into Ryoshi, if I see the price action drop back down to that 18,000 mark, just based off the chart, that's my pounce moment, right? Because again, I'm pretty bullish, and if I can pounce at that 18,519 mark or so, right, approximately right around the 18, 5, 19,000, I know the potential. That 2x from there, that 100% gain, is very, very possible quickly. Right now, we're testing that all-time high level. So again, pretty strong resistance around 32,000 up to 34,000. Right around here, strong resistance. And so what that means is either we need news catalyst or you know whatever it might be, some more social media attention, something to get new investors in to break past that next level of resistance. And that's how it works. That's how it works, guys. Literally each and every time. That's what we see. And again, the big things that we're looking for Ryoshi now are things like um, Binance listing, some of the other decentralized exchanges. We want to see more because right now it's only available on ShibaSwap. So again, we'll see where we go. Let's keep going. So I'm Thompson. I can't tell you what to do, but my man, personally for me, I'm not providing any liquidity with Ryoshi just because that appreciation value is on fire. So Shiba Bone Collector dropping $10 as well. I'm aware. I started with 9,000 9, bones and 10.9 Ethereum, and now I'm at 11,400 bones and 7.8 Ethereum. So I'm very aware of permanent loss. My 1.5 trillion Saitama is down by 50%. No choice but to hold now. 1.5 trillion, sheesh. But the big thing that we learn, right? And I hope every single person that follows me on this journey of investment or investing, excuse me, is we all got in to Ryoshi. If you got in with me, if you're a channel member, if you're a Patreon member, you're the first to always hear about these things. But we got in at 6,500. We've 5x since. We've literally went up nearly 5x or 400% since then. That's absolutely insane. But remember, because we want to secure profits, make sure to always do what? Take some profits off the top. That doesn't mean you have paper hands. Don't sell out your full position, right? This is just what I'm doing. I will never sell out my full position because I want to see this thing 10x, 20x, 30x. Remember those brothers? I was talking to Rigor Mortis about this. Um, brothers from New York. Shiba Inu. Remember that article that was on CNN? Or was it? Here it is. Two brothers went from nearly jobless to multi-millionaires with a bizarre crypto bet. Do you guys remember this? Do you remember this? I covered this on the channel way back when. This was probably May, June time. So April 17th, two brothers from New York woke up and learned that they had become millionaires overnight. That's an unlikely wager on the cryptocurrency that was originally created as a joke. So Tommy and James, these two brothers from New York, decided to what? Bet on Shiba Inu. They saw the community backing. They saw the potential. They saw something in it. So they decided to invest, right? So, and they say here, I kind of thought about Bitcoin. That was once a fraction of a penny. And now it's tens of thousands of dollars. And this happens to people, right? Some can say they were lucky. Some, Whatever you might say, it doesn't matter. The fact is, is that right here, um, they say, here it is. My mother and sister were skeptical, but they each put in $100 too. After a few weeks, when it was up about 300%, they put in another $100 in each and it kept going. In total, the group put in nearly 8,000 US dollars equivalent into Shiba Inu. 8,000 US dollars. The, the OMG moment, right? <laughs> As the Shiba Inu investment took off, they say, it was hard to believe that the change... Um, 
believed the change in their fortune. While, f- uh, while filming a wedding in mid-April, they kept half an eye on their investment, which had quickly shot up to about $100,000. $8,000 to $100,000. That's insanity. Insanity. We woke up the next morning and it doubled yet again. That was the OMG moment for them. Then it went to they, then it went up to seven hundred thousand dollars. So hundred k to two hundred k to seven hundred thousand. And I told my brother it's going to hit a million. I kept refreshing my phone. The next day it happened. The day it hit a million. My mother and sister, they didn't um, my mo- so the day it hit a million. My mother and sister they didn't think it was real. The family's initial stake seven thousand nine hundred dollars. It is now at the time of the article. It was worth $9 million. $9 million from a $7,900 investment. And that's the thing I have to say is like the probability of this happening with Ryoshi, who knows, right? The probability of happening with Saitama, who knows? We can't guarantee anything from ha- for, um, anything happening, right? We've already four, 5X'd. We've gained 400% on our initial investment on Ryoshi. If with the slightest chance... Ryoshi's price action, excitement, hype, listings, follow in suit with that of Shiba Inu. Even if, if it's a right a needles, needles chance in a haystack, if that's even a possibility, how many millionaires are going to be made? How many of us did not get the opportunity to invest into SHIB back in April? A lot of us didn't. A lot of us got in, and got in um, during the month of May, right? After the initial run-up, probably a lot of you that are watching my video right now that are on the stream, that is exactly what ended up, you know, again, that's what we're at least, we're looking for some of these possibilities that might come about. And again, this token with its price action, it occurred when it had no utility whatsoever. It was 100% something that had social media backing. It had people excited and it ran up significantly. And even if you invested back then in April till today and you're still holding four months later, you still made over a 100x return on your initial investment, potentially even more than that. So you can decide what to do with your own money, right? I don't want anyone to come back to me and say, dude, um, you know, I got in at the peak, I got in at the top and now I lost money. Because at the same token, I see people come to me like, man, you're a pop. Because of your investment, I had somebody who messaged me. They bought 50 Ethereum or 25 or 25 Ethereum worth of Ryoshi after I made a video. And I was like, you're crazy. That's insane. But they held literally to the top where it's been. The all-time highs from 6,500 to 30,000. They 5X their investment in the span of three days. You can't make this stuff up. These are people from our own community that are making these kind of gains. So... All I'm saying is, guys, right? It's okay to dream big, but understand that the reality and expect and the reality is, once you have the opportunity to take some profits, so you have less emotional attachment to your investment, that is a okay, 100% a okay. Because how many people were waiting for Dogecoin to hit a dollar and it was at 70 cents? Then it significantly pulled back, and then they regretted not selling some of their profits up at the top. Not financial advice, guys. Remember always just me giving you my personal opinion on these plays man i've been talking way too much i need to bring some of you guys on <laughs> need to get some of your guys' perspectives and insights but my goodness if ryoshi follows in um shib's price action a lot of us are going to be rich including myself i'll be 100 percent. i'll admit it first that would be absolutely insane i'd be very happy right money is the motive right now and I've been watching, by the way, like side note, again, midnight thoughts, right? People have been saying, Pop, you should make a token. But I don't know, man. I saw what happened. Who's the guy on YouTube, guys? Um, YouTuber who made million token. What's that guy's name who made million token? This guy right here, Tech Lead. I remember, yeah. I remember how I made a one million, I made a one million plus coin introducing million token. I know you guys heard about this. Look at the likes to dislike ratio. I'm not even subscribed to this dude's channel, but man, I have a lot of fear when it comes to, you know, that kind of thing. Cause I know a lot of people have been saying, dude, make your own token. I would invest, I would back you. But I, the only reason I'm skeptical or I'm not sure about it is because 
the potential for manipulation and it's scary man it's scary stuff it is we'll consider it but it's scary stuff because i don't want to be another tech lead <laughs> i really don't so yeah man this was this was absolutely insane really unfortunate too I know a lot of people lost a lot of money and it makes me sad. It does. I didn't invest a single dollar. I didn't cover on the channel, but it made me pretty sad that so many people lost such a significant amount of their investments because that's the, th that's the thing. Let me drink some water because I haven't drink, I have not taken a sip of water throughout this whole stream. Let me take a sip of water so we can keep talking. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I got water all over me. All right, so um, where was I? Talking about Million Token. Sorry, I was like reading the chat a little bit. I didn't even acknowledge some of these super chats. My fault, folks. Um, Brian Edwards dropping the $20. Thank you so much, Brian. Brian, I haven't seen you in a while, man. <laughs> Appreciate you coming back on the channel. He says, Shiba Inu is a solid project for the simple fact that they threw us Ryoshi Vision with a uh, day one buy-in opportunity. That's a sever, fig, sever, sever, seven figure potential, which is huge. My man, Brian, Brian Edwards, I'm telling you, man, that's the thing that really just makes me so happy is that the developers, look how unselfish they are. They saw the potential with Ryoshi. They think that it can, you know, it has the tokenomics that it has really does fit within their vision and ecosystem, their vision being the ship developers. And so it's exciting people. It's exciting people. And a lot of us as investors of SHIB that have been bag holding, right? Waiting for the next big thing to happen. They gave us a gateway. They gave us an opportunity. And since it was mentioned from them on the channel here, a lot of us have made significant amount of money. So again, opportunities will come about on the way to the moon for SHIB. And we need to take advantage of that. We need to take advantage of them each and every step of the way. Right now we're seeing a little bit of a sell-off, it looks like. Again, trying to test. So we'll see if we can hold above 20, 29,722. Let's see if we can establish maybe a higher level of support. If we could touch again here, 29,000, 29,30K, and bounce off of that, that'd be pretty exciting stuff. We'll see what happens. Lewis says, where to buy Ryoshi? The only place to buy Ryoshi, Mr. James, is on Shiba Swap nowhere else so you can go directly from their website and click the link so if you go on their website click buy on the swap just make sure the one thing you want to make sure that you do mr james is you have to change your slippage so when you're on the swap and anyone that doesn't know how to do this make sure you pay attention when you're on the swap platform click the little settings or syringe button and this is where you change your slippage you need it to be at least two percent i stick to 2.5 percent what does that mean for slippage tolerance is if it goes up by 2.5% or down by 2.5%, you're still going to execute your buy. So again, that's what that slippage tolerance is all about. And any token that is very volatile, it's important. It's important to do that. Ryoshi is applying for Trust Wallet today. The dev, the dev just said that in the Telegram group. That's super exciting. And this is what you guys have to pay, to pay attention to. The fact that ShibaSwap allowed so this is this is i'm gonna give you guys something real quick this is like a heart to heart moment for you all all right so for ryoshi right something backed 100 by the ship developers what they created with this opportunity for us all in my opinion is as follows for all of us who believed in shiba inu's ecosystem for all of us who believed in um the vision of the developers who have been able to stomach the volatility we saw SHIB go all the way to, down to 570 Satoshi units, literally bottomed out there. And we continued to hold and buy the dip. That's what happened. So for everyone that waited for them, July 6th, right? SHIB Independence Day, when we got the swap released, we've been utilizing the swap with a total value locked of 400 plus million dollars. The fact is, the fact is they've, wanted to reward each and every one of us as investors and people who utilize the swap platform. How? By listing Ryoshi on the swap first. The first exchange, the first swap um, system to allow Ryoshi to be bought 
bought and sold to buy or sell it was Shiba Swap. Think about that for a second, just food for thought. Now, we see things like Trust Wallet, right? We're gonna see it available on Uniswap. We're gonna start seeing other decentralized exchanges look at the price action for Ryoshi, look at the potential that it has, the community backing, boom. Big buying pressure, we're all gonna be the early investors. We're gonna all be early investors. And the big difference that I seen, again, still holding my Saitama, but the big difference that I see between Saitama Inu and Ryoshi Vision is that Ryoshi Vision is backed by the SHIB developers. Saitama and SHIB, the communities were clashing. That's the one thing that was really bothering me as an investor is I saw that clash between the two, literally headbutting on Twitter. It's like, what are you doing? Why? But now we have something where both communities are intertwined. We are all literally on the same page. And that's why I think things are gonna be a little bit different. Still holding my Saitama, I still believe in it, but I'm not increasing my position size by any means, just holding. That's me. But we'll see what happens with it again in the short and long term. But it's just a waiting game, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people who sold out of their positions elsewhere and bought into Ryoshi instead. But again, this gives us an opportunity. And that's it. You are about to jump ship like Steve. Never. Never ever, Victor. Not a single... I've never... One day to... <laughs> I haven't even sold a single token yet, my man. I haven't sold a single token, my friend. Holding every single one on my ship. Still staking. Still using the liquidity pool. Doing what, you, doing what I gotta do, man. Doing what I gotta do. But never have I ever aborted. If I pull profit, what happens to my initial coin count? I'm double my initial investment at the moment. Um, if I pull profits, what happens to my initial coin count? So James, obviously, you know, with appreciation, you're up significantly on your investment if you got in around the time we did. So because of that, you probably, um, obviously each token is worth more. So if you sell, I don't know exactly how much your initial investment was, but to get your initial investment back, if it's doubled, it'd be half the amount of tokens. If it's tripled, it'd be a third. You know what, it's gonna be a third. If it's quadrupled, a quarter of your tokens to get your initial investment back. So that's kind of my investment strategy across the market. If something doubles, I'll sell half. If something triples by the time I check it, I'll sell a third, that kind of thing. To keep, my, to keep my gains in, and again, the emotional attachment leaves. But I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I, I have been staring at this thing right here, you guys see the trading history? This has, whoa, somebody just bought 40, what? Somebody just bought $46,931 worth of Saitama. 14.46 Ethereum, holy smokes. But yeah, uh, <laughs> this is something that I look at throughout the day. It's been kind of obsessive. Before I go to sleep, before I wake up, this right here, the trading history, right at the right at the bottom, right there. It's been pretty awesome. Vin Holder, yeah, man, most definitely. Ryoshi price can be seen on Coinbase Wallet. Yes, as of more recently. As of more as of more recently, you can start seeing it. But yeah, directly on Coinbase. Rigamore says he needs to sleep. Who needs to sleep? Who said Saitama? Man, maybe I do need to sleep. I went to, I don't know. I was just at the gym. I feel good. I went to the gym. I exercised. You know what I'm saying? I actually took a nap today, this afternoon. I did work this morning. I don't like working on Saturdays, but sometimes you have to. That's, that's, the, that's the life. That's the life I want to leave. I don't want to work on Saturdays anymore, guys. Salam from the UK. Your pop. Love the content. Stay blessed. RS. Wa alaikum salam. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you. Juan says, Salam, bro. Can you ask Shaitoshi whether they can release the roadmap for Shibirium? Absolutely, man. One day you won't need a job, a day job, your pop. So Imperial Beats, bro. I hope so, man. I hope that I can make YouTube, crypto investing. Like, imagine, man. Imagine the life. I love this so much. Look at this. How long have I been live right now? One hour and 40 minutes. It feels like I've been live for literally 30 seconds. If I was at work for an hour 40, oh boy. Every minute at work counts. Every minute at work. I just watched the clock tick. 
Do you guys do that? Do you, a, a, anybody with me there? You're at work, right? You look at the clock. It's like, man. So I usually work, you know, a typical nine to five. So you look at the clock, right? You start, you start your job off in the morning. <laughs> you start your job off in the morning and it's like, all right, we've got the first hour and a half out of the day, 1030. Then you look away, do some work. You look back at the clock out of nowhere. It's like 1015. The clock went back 15 minutes. It's like, wait, what? What just happened? So yeah. Oh man, that life is not that nine to five, man. We need to, we need to identify a way to, we need an exit strategy, uh, ship army. We really do. Collectively, we got to find ourselves one. No, don't look at the clock, says 70 Impala. Really, we should not look at the clock. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something else. Yeah, but shout out to that big whale that just bought in. It scares me when I see whales come in so early, but $46,000 invested. Holy smokes. Yeah, you guys see that green candle right there? That's from that investor. Let me move, let me move my face cam here so you guys can see. But yeah, <laughs> that $46,930, that's crazy, man. People are going to get, more and more people are getting more and more bullish on this crypto. They're finding it as, you know, even the day traders, they're making significant gains too. And I'm just going to congratulate each and every one of them. Big congratulations. Shiba Bone Collector dropping the $10 again. My goodness. Shout out Kandesha. I just swapped the bones I earned for 1.1 trillion Saitama. I'm up almost 2.695 trillion Saitama. This is fun. Oh man. Shiba Bone Collector. I'm telling you. Folks with conviction, you can't, you can't, you can't budge them. Man, crazy. Will Shiba Inu hit one dollar? Will Shiba Inu hit one cent? Probably the most popular questions that we will see across. And again, I have my opinion. Others have theirs. It all depends on what happens in terms of the roadmap. So someone asked about the Shibirium roadmap. So that's one of the things we addressed earlier on the stream. Um, not really in the roadmap, but... What is the timeline looking like, right? For the Q&A that we went over earlier. Let's see, Shibirium, Shibirium. Where was it? One of the questions was about timeline. We talked about Cardano. Where was it? That's the delay of Coinbase. When can we expect to see the rewards? No. Where's the question? Give me a sec. We asked about Ryoshi distribution. Where is the question about Shibirium? Just, oh, yeah, here we go. What's the status on, regarding L2 and what can we expect the approval? This is what Shatoshi said right here. His response to that earlier, L2 is in the early stages. We also have a community development team that is advanced in this respect. I'm never giving timelines because this is a decentralized and anything is possible. Our goal is this year. So in terms of roadmap, it doesn't look like they're looking to establish one. But just like they did for the swap, it's going to drop just at any given moment. And it's going to excite us. I'm sure they're going to give us updates little by little. But we'll see what that looks like when the time gets closer. When the time gets closer, folks. But again, at, at least in the next four months is when we're expecting uh, Shibirium to be live. And to have our own blockchain with hopefully little to no more gas fees, man. Those dang gas fees. Whew. They've been hurting. They're painful. Oh man, we got some elite members in the chat now. James McNeil, welcome to the Elite Membership Club. Appreciate you, man. And also David Jameson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for deciding to partake in the Elite Membership. Appreciate your guys' support, man. That's the thing. Regardless, the market's bullish, the market is bearish, we're trading sideways. Whatever happens, everybody continues to support the channel, which all I could say is thank you guys, and I really, really do appreciate it. So thank you both, James McNeil. And David Jameson, welcome to the Elite Club. Appreciate you guys. And I'm trying to figure out um, more. I don't. I don't know if the word is utility, utility, but I'm trying to figure out a way to give um, the elite members even more. Um, I don't know. Adva I don't want to say advantages, but just give you guys more. Give you guys more. That's what it is. As Rigor Mortis says, maybe I do need sleep, <laughs> but I don't want to sleep. I'm too excited. So I'm just trying to figure out a way to give you guys back for supporting me so much. I know right now, just updating you guys on my buys. Sure, that's been great. And I'm glad that a lot of you have been doing well, especially even the subscribers. 
but we'll see. We'll see where it goes. JD RD Vision. Hashtag ship army. My man JD. Welcome, welcome, welcome. JD, JD. <laughs> One of the big, big bulls when it comes to Ryoshi. And big on um, ship as well. A big shout out. <laughs> Keep on doing what you do, says James. Appreciate you, my brother. G Money. Smash that like button. Man, G Money. G Money, I, I don't know. I feel like I need to do something special for you. Always, always supporting me on these streams. One of the one of the greatest moderators, honestly. Oh, let me make sure James and David are... Um, let me make sure that they're both moderators. Add moderator and uh, add moderator. So David and James, you guys now have... Please don't abuse your power. Of course, I, I don't think you will. But as elite members, I always give them... Um, and I give you guys the moderator um, ability. So if someone is, comes in here and starts spamming or saying random things that are annoying, which trolls are literally everywhere, you guys have the ability to ban them, silence them, do whatever you want. I trust in your judgment. So do what you got to do. Let's keep the stream thriving and doing well. <laughs> Zero Mutana says, how do I become a member? Zero, again, really it's 100% optional. You being here as a subscriber means more than enough to me, but people just want to show support um, additionally. But all you got to do is click the join button down below. There's a join button that YouTube offers to, I think it's at this point, I thought it was 10,000 subscriber requirement, but now I think it's 1,000 people that are required. Basically, if you're part of the YouTube partner program, it's another way to kind of support content creators that you like. So that's what it is. Kyle Allen, Allen says, you are the best pop. My man, Kyle, I appreciate you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. <laughs> Nadir. Shukran. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. Ben Adi, people have been well behaved today. I've only kicked two people today. Haha. <laughs> ben Adi, also one of the greatest. One of the greats, I should say. Sorry about that. But Ben, man. Ryo, did Shatoshi respond to my question? Again, I want to apologize one more time to you. I feel so bad, man. You asked the question. Ah. <sighs> And I forgot to ask. Let's see if he responded. No response yet from Shaitoshi, but hopefully you'll get back to me soon. We can address your question. Man, oh man. And one other thing. So guys, I'm going to put a poll in the chat right now. One other thing that we've been talking about is, so things like Ryoshi, um, obviously for now I'm going to, I'm going to kind of just like keep focused on the tokens that I've already talked about on the channel. But I know a lot of people have been excited about other crypto projects, right? When it comes to tokenomics and understanding, you know, differentiating new projects from those that will fail and those will, that will potentially succeed or those that have higher probability of succeeding because they have true innovative um, aspects to them, right? So one thing that I want to mention real quick, random, but... So I have a friend of mine who he's actually a physicist. So he studied physics and he's doing more like applied math type things, really learning the tricks of the trade, understanding um, the, the computer science aspect or the background of crypto assets. He's the one who actually introduced me to HBAR. But more recently, he put me on Helium, ticker symbol HNT. So when I, when I thought about Helium, I was like, what is this token? I have no idea what it is. So back in 2020, this thing came out, became you know tra uh, uh, a tradable asset on the crypto market at 27 cents. But if you guys notice something about Helium, is that it's been going up and up, and then it has sell-offs, sure, but it's stable. Its price action is very, very stable. So the thing that excited me about this, about this token, it's in the top 100, but its tokenomics. And there's this, there's these things that you can actually buy into called helium miners. So I didn't really have an understanding of it, but he came and explained it to me step by step. And there's something called a consensus algorithm. And basically, again, just like other mining um, my, uh, miners that are out there, right? Bitcoin miners, people with Ethereum, right? That's what we pay gas fees for. So with the consensus algorithm and helium miners, you can set it up. It's very easy to do, and it's a way to make you know additional passive forms of income. So aside from the fact that the token has been doing really well, it's you know less than Shiba Inu's market cap, but in terms of its potential and its 
um, again, has similar... I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about it. But the fact is, is that, again, there are other crypto assets that are also very, very exciting in my opinion. So for this one here, the mining aspect of it is what excites me. And I recently bought a helium miner, right? It's, again, just one other potential thing that you can do in addition to investing into crypto assets <clears throat> is buying into these miners or becoming a miner on the side because it's something that you set up and it just brings you it brings you in passive income on the side really that easy it doesn't take anything more than that literally 100 percent passive income shiva bone collector <laughs> kandesha i thought you were a member this whole time already but thank you so much for becoming an elite member awesome thank you so much for your support Man, you guys have been rocking it tonight, man. Wow, we got three new members. Thank you, everybody. Wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> Doom says you'll get that miner next year. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, mine the the helium miner does have a long turnaround. It's about <clears throat> eight to twenty weeks, I think. So yeah, three to four months. I bought my helium miner in March, and it won't be here till November. That's crazy. Well, I'm glad that you got one too, man. Because I've seen how much people are making on the miner at a very low, like $500 a month in passive income. Some people making, what, five, $6,000 I've seen, which is insane. So again, guys, the whole thing is, is that you guys know I love Shiba Inu. I love this ecosystem. But there are so many opportunities in the crypto space that I think sometimes, you know, again, think to myself, is it fair that we don't discuss other cryptos? I don't want it to I don't want to make any other cryptocurrency the main currency I speak about. This will always be a Shiba Inu first channel. But what do you guys think? Maybe make should I make a separate channel so we can start discussing other crypto assets? Do I make other ser um, like once a week where we do, you know, a gem finder type thing, right? The 10x potential, 100x potential, very low market cap, new token with fantastic tokenomics. Maybe it's going to try to infiltrate into, um, you know, the smart contract area or anything else, whatever it might be. The fact is there's so many potential, there's so many assets that are out there that have strong potential, in my opinion. And again, just my opinion, of course. Look at Solana. Oh, man. I would say you should cover Saitama and Ryoshi. Yeah, Ryoshi for sure. I think I need to give Ryoshi more saitama as well i feel kind of like i don't want to feel like i abandoned it right but i can cover and kind of talk about you know what's been going on and things like that this is my youtube channel says no more stocks i'm still holding my stocks but the stock market especially when it comes to more speculative plays like the penny stock market has been so down and i'm significantly down on most of my positions but i'm just holding man i'm waiting for the next bull cycle when it comes to stocks as well but crypto assets have thankfully made me you know for the time being and i'm hoping that this just continues on i just hope we continue to see some significant price action moving forward i'm loving it loving what i've been seeing in this in this market it's been phenomenal <laughs> i kid you not can you do another how to buy video pop uh for what g money i got your back what do you guys think Not sure you love bees. Any bee lovers? Buy TBC token. Don't know what that is. Saving the bees. So many projects out there right now. My goodness. You should ask Shaitoshi to tweet about Ryoshi. <laughs> yeah. The only scary thing is if the developers do that, like it might create more of a pump and dump type um, price action, which I get scared about, man. Like, let's go back. Let's just do some timeline things, right? My initial video that I made about um, five days ago now. Let's wait for the commercial to pass. Do, 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 do. Initial video. We talked about 3% slippage. What was the price at? So it was after it was mentioned, it was right around 9,100. This was five days ago, August 9th, 2021, 9,148 
9,148 was its price. Again, that's with a bunch of zeros um, preceding or follow, uh, before it. We talked about it again a day ago now. Where were we at? Did I start with price action? Let's see. Right here. Man, I need to move my big head. Why am I blocking the price action screen? That's annoying. Oh, there we go. I pulled myself down in a second. Let me see. Come on. There we go. It was at 12,000. Uh, 12, so since the initial video from 9,000, it went up to 12,000, the following, and then again, now it's at 32,000. So it's almost tripled from 24 hours ago, which is insane. Insane. So it's crazy, man. Bro, do I have to swap Wrapped Ethereum for Ryoshi? YMC. YMC, I haven't seen you in a minute. My main man. <laughs> no, you do not. You do not have to swap uh, Wrapped Ethereum. Maybe I should make a how to. Do you guys want me to make a how to? Here, I'm going to make a poll real quick. Um, should I make should I make a how to buy Ryoshi Vision video? Yes or no? All right. Ask community. You guys decide. YMC, I got your back. There it is. You guys decide. Do you want me to make a video on how to buy? Real quick here for those who are on the stream. So all you need to do, Ethereum, YMC, the one thing that I feel like a lot of people are missing is one crucial step for buying Ryoshi is that yes, you could only buy it on ShibaSwap because right now the SHIB developers wanted to give us a competitive edge or advantage over the other investors that are going to rush into this token once it goes live on other exchanges. So for all of us that are Shiba Inu token holders, we've been pouncing left and right. Now, all you got to do is you click this little syringe, change your slippage. If you do not change your slippage, it's not going to work. So about 2.5%. The other thing that you'll need to do, 2.50%. Okay? 2 to 2.5% 2 is what you'll need to do. Next, the other thing you need to make sure you do is if it doesn't let you buy directly after you, um, so let's see here. Let's just say it was for Saitama, right? Before you buy in, say you wanted to buy 0 0.5 Ethereum worth. So 2 billion or 2 trillion. 100 so this is just doing an example with saitama when you click it um let's see what here let's just do this with ryoshi what am i doing so i want to buy i want to use ethereum and buy ryoshi with it right so let's say we want to buy 0 0.5 ethereum worth half an ethereum worth what am i doing it's because i'm in the liquidity pool i'm so dumb i'm so sorry swap tokens ethereum to ryoshi Change the slippage, 2.5%, and then you put 0 0.5, right? The problem is, so if you hit swap and you try to do everything, what's going to happen is it might say, it might give you an error message saying that something, 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 this is not backed by this exchange, yada, yada, yada. And again, I can make a dedicated video of this. So all you need to do is make it a round number. So instead of 489763000, just round down to 480. Zero, zero, zero. So changing all the preceding numbers round down to the next number, and then that way it should work just fine. So I tried that, round down um, to the next, whatever you're buying. I don't know, if you're buying a few hundred million, just make it a flat number, and then change your slippage to two to 2.5% 2 to ish. I did 2.5% myself, and then hit swap and do what you gotta do. That's all I have for you. <laughs> Mine worked at 3%, James Mitchell says. So yeah, let's see how the poll is doing. Because I asked you guys, do you want me to make a video on how to buy Ryoshi? And 108 votes. So far, we have 108 votes on the poll. Seventy nine percent say yes. 21 percent say no. So it looks like, you know, right around 80 people, yes. 25, 30 say no.
Ben Adi says, speaking of new tokens, you know I don't shill. Have you seen Lousy? Is it? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Lousy project token. I got in about a week ago. Check out Lousy chart on Dex Tools. Can't imagine you would be unimpressed with it. Have not heard of that token yet, my man. But let's check it out. On Dex Tools, you said, huh? Let's just look at the chart. Oh, that's Reddit. Um, uh, wait. Uh, is this is Ryoshi now on Dex Tools too? I wonder. I don't really use this platform at all. Five new pairs. Let's see. L W A Z. I think this is the one. Lousy project. V two. Let's see, Ben. You got in a week ago? Holy smokes. Dang, man. <laughs> ben, Adi. Congratulations, my friend. If you got in a week ago, that's what, on the 7th? Whew. Man, you've nearly 4X'd your initial investment. Congrats, my friend. That is pretty dang awesome, dude. He says, if I put my the slippage by 3% when buying Ryo is bad. If I put the slippage by 3% when buying Ryo is bad. What do you mean by that? Um... Manishimi, uh, Mani, um, Hanvier. Aldo Garcia. Let's see where this goes, bro. Let's see where this goes. Ben, I got to check this out, man. The chart is looking pretty crazy. <laughs> Obviously very bullish, but who knows what's going to happen. It looks like some corrections on the way, but just gets scooped right back up. Current market cap, total daily volume. 12.7 million sheesh pretty similar to Ryoshi um, you only have the diluted market cap 976,000 sheesh yeah I'll have to do I'll definitely have to do some more research of course I dig it man but my eyes right now in terms of investing holding my ship not really increasing my position size looking for new projects on the way already made $4 says Aldo Let's go, Aldo. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love it. I love it when people make money. Nothing excites me more. Like, this is this is what I want to say. Like, it's cool when, you know, I like, obviously, I love, I love making money, right? Nobody in this world doesn't want to make money, especially if you come from a background or if you have a history of, you know, being maybe coming from a lower income family, lower income background, that kind of thing. You know, I've shared my story with you guys, so you guys already know. You know, the struggle was real growing up but regardless it's like we've we've identified ways through investing through different means through entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurial inv um, ventures to make some significant impact on financial stability and financial outlook so investing in the crypto space has been so fun and the returns have been amazing so like i don't know man we're just getting started folks one project at a time. And for those of you who've been supporting me all the way since May, I'm just glad that for those of you who got into Ryoshi when we all did, I'm so happy for you. You've been able to make some significant gains in your pocket, right? And that's what makes me happy. I want to be able to give back to each and every one of you, the subscribers to the channel, the ones who watch the videos. Because yes, Bitcoin, sure. By the end of the year, it's going to get to 100,000, right? I truly believe it's going to happen. It's going to fall that stock to flow model. The overall market's going to do well. But that's a 2x, right? Exciting. 100% gain we should never be upset about. But when there's projects like this that offer us 4, 5, 100, 600%, 700% returns, 10x, 15, 20x potential, 50x, 100x potential, why not? Why not partake in these kind of things as well? And that's the one thing. So on the YouTube space in general, I know and 
don't get me wrong it is scary it is scary to um, introduce new tokens especially with lower market caps because of the volatility but if you see something in them if you see a vision if you see that imagine this every single person that's part of the ship army establishes a small position in ryoshi because of the fact that it's rewarding those who are holding x ship which is again trillions of tokens at this time imagine if each and every person decided to just establish a small position in ryoshi what's going to happen it's going to go bonkers it's going to go absolutely insane so hey i don't want to miss out on it and we got john messino my main man john i haven't seen you in a while either we're seeing some of the old the old cats that we haven't seen on the stream in a hot minute but man oh man john messino becoming an elite member thank you so much for your support brother i miss you man i haven't seen you in a while john messino the legend <laughs> thank you for your support my friend appreciate you my guy Feg token, Feg token is taken off. I haven't been, I, I've heard of Feg way back when, but I never invested. Let's check it out. Up twelve percent on the day. Whew, still down. It's kind of similar to Shib. Its price action is very similar to Shib. What's its market cap? Oh, it's an unknown market cap. It's not disclosed. My goodness, though. That chart so what's the seven day been looking like congrats to the fed community though the feg the apes yeah the seven day chart looks really good looks like obviously you've established some level of support again i know this is 100 percent a meme token um but maybe some cool things on the pipeline don't know much about it but hey i love it i love opportunities in the market man not invested though Full transparency, I'm not invested. What else do we have, guys? So 72% say yes, 195 votes for Ryoshi Vision. How to buy. I'd definitely be one of the first. I know there's a few people who have been talking about it, but it'd be early. Look at my bricks on market cap. Oh, man, do I dare? Hmm. on VeChain. Yeah, there are so many cool projects out there, guys. So, so many. There's infinite amounts, and it's hard, that paradox of choice, which one to invest to next. Shiba, end of the year, anyone? Again, Frank, I think we can get back to all-time highs at the very least, and I think beyond that, you know, if we're looking at the next year, the next two, the next five years, the potential is great. As long as this community continues to stick together, and we continue to work up and along the way finding new projects that will partner or that will collaborate in ways you know with their tokenomics with shiba inu i think we'll see some significance moving forward impress ebony yo pop <laughs> how are you doing ebony hope you're doing well my friend always one of the earliest on every video i kid you not i, I see empress ebony big shout out to the girl much love much love ymc what do you think bone will be end of year bro Oof, that's a good question too bone it all depends so if ship does well bone is going to do well if ship does well bone is going to do well so i think you know if we see i don't know really again this is just speculation and guessing more guesstimating but i think we could see bone realistically probably go up not to all-time highs by end of year. I think that'd be too soon because we saw it go all the way to $75 after the swap release, which was insane. But I think we could see Bone go more realistically to, I don't know, $15, $20 per Bone token. I think that's possible. Um, as Shibirium comes out and other things also start um, being incorporated to the ecosystem, and some of the other things that are in the pipeline are released. Get more investors, more excitement. I think people will eye bone, especially it's pretty attractive with its price, of course. And its potential is pretty great. So only time will tell. But pretty excited to see where bone goes. Wow, looks like a whale just cashed out $40,000. Red candle. Oof. Those whales. Who's going to buy the dip, hey? <laughs> Let's see, where were we? Let me get my screen out of the way so you guys can see what I'm talking about. 
Look at us following Roroshi right now. Big whale cashed out $40,882. Holy smokes. 12.5 Ethereum. Sheesh. Let's go on Ether scan. Who's man's? Man, oh man, oh man. But we're establishing a very, this is some nice consolidation. So we'll see if we break out tonight. It all depends on what happens, but I'm excited, man. Do you stake Shiba? Frank? Frank, do I stake Shiba? What? My man. Absolutely. If you go to Barry, stake tokens, you'll see. Barry SHIB. I currently have 112 million SHIB buried, holding 263 million in liquid. So again, right around $2,100 just in liquid and about $1,000 still holding, um, still buried. So for my berry, I haven't seen that much of rewards, you know, about six bones accumulated just from my berry. So again, six bones right now, not too much. Why do I like berry though? Is there's no impermanent loss integrated with it. So make sure you take that into consideration when you decide whether or not you want to, um, whether or not you would like to utilize the berry feature versus the liquidity pool feature. No impermanent loss comes with berry, but it's a lot less gains that you'll be making. So it's one of the setbacks. But I'm also burying, um, uh, nope, I'm just holding some leash, about $182 worth, not too much. That was pretty much all Brian Edwards. He kept telling me, buy leash. <laughs> Always give, uh, giving the super chat, so I had to had to invest in what he told me. And then also for bone, holding total berry, 253 bones. And these are all bones. I bought some, and I also woofed some, and then I buried them. So from that, I've only made about not even a single bone since the beginning which was how long now i've been doing this for over a probably week and a half so again passive income in addition to hopefully the appreciation value with bone in the long term my main man mateo pina dropping the five dollar super chat. thank you so much mateo this is amazing content as always watching from australia i tweeted about a new token called crypto vision crypto vision token on ico right now i don't know anything about it mateo I don't want to mention anything until I do some research about it, but I got your back, especially something that new. That is pretty scary, especially because, you know, it comes with a lot of different things. But once I hear things that are, you know, once I see tokens backed by bigger development teams, bigger crypto projects, that's when I'm more comfortable maybe covering it or looking at it. But that one right there, Crypto Vision, maybe one day it's going to be something big. But for right now, anything on ICO scares me. It does. I'd like to wait at least a few days to see where the momentum shifts or where it goes. YMC says 10 billion is buried, $5,000 in the Ethereum bone pool, leaving it for at least three years, bro. My man. Let's see what happens, my friend. I love it. And man, we just hit 500 likes on the stream. Shout out to everybody, man. Tonight has been exceptional. I love these streams so much. They're just so enjoyable, folks. So, so enjoyable. They really are, man. Really are. How many holders are we at? Because I know we could look at Etherscan. Oh, I hear that. Thin Air Construction LLC. Is that an actual company, man? That sounds very official. <laughs> Love it. Thin Air Construction. The construction business has been booming lately, especially with the cost of lumber. My goodness, recently I helped uh, my father-in-law. Uh, he was doing some building projects and we were just, we went to Home Depot to buy studs. My goodness, man, crazy the price for those things now. 825, I think when we bought them, 850. He was telling me five years ago he bought them for $1.25, but let's not go off on that tangent. Thin air construction with the $5 super check. Can you ask the developers, when will this Shiba game um come out a dollar coming right after i really want to know this answer pop wait can you ask the developers when will this shiba game come out come out a dollar coming right thin air which game are you talking about man just to make sure i have a good understanding i can ask them you know again i'll, I'll be the messenger for sure but let me know um what you mean by that? 
because I don't have any information about the a game that they're establishing. I think I understand, but I just want to make sure I do. I think you're saying, can I ask when, when or if they are creating a Shiba game? And we'll come out. A dollar is coming. A Shiba video games? Is that what you mean? I know they did the, like the Rocket League um, thing, but I don't know about a real actual video game. How to find out if Ryoshi's vision purchased the burn on ShibaSwap. I don't know. I guess Etherscan is the only way to see the burns for right now until we get posted on, you know, market cap, coin market cap, excuse me. We'll have to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hasn't even 10x yet from its initial. I think it has. Crazy man. What's this medium that they have? Two days ago. Oh, I haven't even seen this. I have not seen this. Huh. Five point of update, Ryoshi Vision. Hi, I'm Wifey. We Wifey's the person who was on the um, Telegram. Not a dev, I don't think, but just one of the um, marketing individuals, I believe. So, wow. So, Ryoshi Vision is, is a good start so far. Yes, some whales get early, bag and sell, and keep price from moon too high too fast but that is okay because pleb armies keep eating huh lots of grammatical related things we saw same but different early ship days when will so i'm i don't know if this is just like because it's english second language i'm not quite sure we saw but different okay maybe that's not even from her. so welcome to Ryoshi vision hello you may call me wifey no i am not ryoshi unless you consider that we are all ryoshi in which case i am I'm here to present you with the original, true vision of Ryoshi-san, as they intended in the beginning to make it happen. The core thesis of this vision is that there is a token by the people, for the people, that can bring the community into excellence. For this experiment, I present to you Ryoshi's vision, or we can call it Ryoshi, to see what happens. You can buy here. Oh, okay. So nothing too exciting there. I thought it was going to be maybe something more of a significant update that I just missed or didn't hear about. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Thin air, I heard from another channel that's something in motion. Yeah, bro, like the um, Axie game and NFT game. Oh, I'm not sure. I know the NFTs are on the um, Thin Air. I know the NFTs are on the, what is it? Let's see, NFTs, NFTs. NFT, oh no, gosh, I toshi. Here, and I know that's in terms of utility burn from phase two, if you saw right at the bottom, this is where Right here. In the meantime, Shiba Inu will introduce our first official NFT set. And we've seen amazing NFTs from our community in the past, but this NFT set is a group of 10,000 Shiba NFTs with special attributes. Reminiscent of crypto punks and hash masks, any of these amazing NFTs are a great addition to your crypto wallet. Best of all, the team is investigating ways to implement ship burns into the system to change the attributes of your purchase of NFTs. So again, that's the big thing with the NFT. I don't know much about the video game thing that you mentioned, but regardless, um, they're looking, the big thing that excites me with the NFTs is that they're looking at a utility burn with each purchase. So we'll see what that means. We'll see where that goes, but hey, opportunity in my opinion. Really, the, the, the best is yet to come in my opinion. The best is yet to come. YMC says, bro, can you tell me about, can you tell them about my requests? Please all use ShibaSwap as much as possible. Like other ship tags as well. Let the algorithm recognize our tags. Hashtag use ShibaSwap. YMC, I got you, man. I got you. I need to start using it too. And uh, Thin Air Construction LLC says, there is an NFT game in the pipeline and I would like 
to know when it's coming out because Shiba Coin will go to a dollar ASAP right after it is available. The Axie NFT Game 70. All right, Thin Air. You know, I'm just going to I'm gonna quickly just take a photo of what you said there and I'm going to have to ask Shaitoshi because I'm really unsure. Just take a picture of this chat and I'll ask for you. I got your back. Thank you again for the $10 super chat, my friend. Appreciate your support. But I don't know much about what you're mentioning there, though. You sh- and my main man, YMC. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna do something for you real quick. Tweet. Hashtag use Shiba Swap. That's it. One word. Uh, who is this? Um, where am I looking? YMC, do you have a Twitter? YMC. Never say never. Crypto is unpredictable. On the rocket to the moon. I agree with that statement, my friend. I truly do. YMC ship XRP. Let me copy that. Uh, let me do this real quick. Here, YMC ship XRP. Oh, I think this is you. I'm gonna follow you, so then I can at you. My man YMC at YMC. Ah, SHIB XRP. Oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Ah, copy this, paste this. Says to get hashtag use Shiba Swap trending. Let's do it. Let's do it. SHIB Army. There we go. <laughs> there you go, my man. There it is. We tweeted it. YMC ship XRP says to get Shiba Swap trending. Let's do it, my friend. <laughs> Let's do it. Hashtag use Shiba Swap. <laughs> Got you, man. Ship to the moon, says James. Let's go, man. Let's go. How are we doing? 812 Satoshi units. Holding strong, holding strong. The last week has been, I just, again, lots of consolidation. Waiting for that next piece of news. I'm telling you guys, the next thing that we need to see. ASAP, I know I've been saying this every week. It's Coinbase. Coinbase is our next big catalyst, period. That is going to be the next game changer. Because right now, anything that gets listed on Coinbase literally flies. Literally flies. Yes, Chip has a more significant market cap. So it's harder for it to you know, increase substantially after a listing. But still... 30, 20, 30, 40, 50% gains in you know a 24 hour period. That should excite all of us. That's the kind of thing we want to see. So see what happens. Big things to come. Let's roll. Hashtag you Shiba Swap. We'll get it trending. Will Bone be listed on any platform? Lewis asks, will Bone be listed on any platform? Um, great question, Lewis. It was actually something that was uh, mentioned earlier in the Q&A from Shaitoshi because we asked here, um, right here, what is the plan to get Bone more exposure? Eric states that he CMC listing had been denied three times already. So coin market cap listing got denied three times. We have all been kindly asking for a listing. What else has to be done? Any plans to approach any, any other exchanges to list Bone? And Shaitoshi's response was, we have been approaching. They're asking to see, they're trying their best to get us listed on as many exchanges as possible. But it's been, it's been struggling, man. It's been struggling. Ryoshi right now is at 3, 32,180. And we'll go with Satoshi units. So we'll just say that for now. But I know it's a lot less than that because we have more zeros in front. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that seven day chart. Sheesh. Man, oh man. Ryoshi wants to eat another zero. I feel it. <laughs> it's probably going to happen. Wish Coinbase would get this, would get with the program. They are missing out. They are. Even Weeble. Guys, I know you guys saw it. Or was it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That email. It's on the home page. Let's see. Let's go down. Let's see. Matt Wallace. <laughs> Look at Weeble. Where is the email? 10 hours ago. I'm almost there, I think. Almost there, folks. Bear with me. By the way, anyone who follows me, Kevin, it's pretty cool that he's running for governor. He's actually killing it right now. That's pretty exciting. A fellow YouTuber. Of course, there's no comparison. Like, he has nearly 2 million people following him. But that'd be awesome if he actually became governor of California, represent the YouTube space. That's pretty exciting. I think I went too far back. Uh, where? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Somebody had, somebody got an email response from Weeble saying that they're doing the final testing, which is so awesome, man. When we get listed on Weeble, that's going to be huge, guys. All these other exchanges are going to get with the program and hopefully get in. Ah. I'll find it in a second. We just got a new elite member. Oh, snap. Douglas2001, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the Elite Membership Club. I appreciate your support, my friend. Appreciate you for tuning in such late night. It's almost one in the morning. We've been streaming for two and a half hours. Whoa, okay, that's it's a lot later than I thought it was. Holy smokes, that's what happens when I stream, though. I can't tell time, I literally lose track of time so easily. I'm trying to show you guys the Weeble information for all of you who might have not seen the videos from earlier and might be tuning in for the first time. Make sure, of course, you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Maybe it was the ship cryptologist, he was the one maybe that tweet retweeted it. It was about SHIB. Where are we? Where are we? Oh, here. Good news. SHIB is traded on Weeble in some places. So, yeah. Um, again, depending on location, depending on where you're at, Weeble is now starting to... They're rolling out beta testing for Shiba Inu. So for me, I actually don't have it because right now if I pull up my Weeble app, you guys know I love, love, love Weeble. Um, they, I've, I'm actually, they announced at the beginning of this month that I was one of their biggest influencers um, for the month of July, which was pretty awesome. They actually sent me a little thing and they were like, hey, you're a pop. You're doing some cool things. And guess what, guys? That's the kind of power the ship army is. That's the kind of thing we're creating a voice for ourselves. And being that, you know, Weeble is paying attention to our requests, other brokerages are going to follow. And I'm not talking, you know, decentralized or, you know, centralized exchanges. No, I'm talking the stock market brokerages, mainly for stocks. They're starting to pay attention to crypto assets. So when it comes to um, overall market adoption, 
and having people, new investors in, right? That's the big thing is we want to diversify our investor pool. We don't want to stick only to the people that are going to buy from the crypto community. No, we want to see everybody just like Dogecoin. Dogecoin has diversified so much in terms of their community. They're no longer just crypto enthusiasts. No, these are people who just want to see significant financial gains. So the fact that Weeble is now testing SHIB because of the pressure we put on them. I sent emails earlier. I was in direct contact with their marketing team because as an affiliate member, they, they actually respect the things that I ask or question, or they look at what the community asks as well. They saw the petition, they realized the potential, and they said, hey, we might as well be the first. You know, Robinhood is playing their games. They are still, we're still waiting for Robinhood to list us as well. They're way behind, but Weeble is not waiting another minute. And that's why I told you guys what I hope we can do together as the SHIB army, right? I, don't, I can't tell you guys whether to buy or sell, of course, but you guys know in the link in the description, I have my link for Weeble. So they, you know, the fact that I'm, I've become such a big influencer um, and gave them, give, given an impact on Weeble's brokerage, that creates a voice for us. Robinhood will pay attention. And imagine if we get listed on Robinhood, the millions and millions of people that will have access to SHIB that otherwise are not willing to go into other centralized or decentralized exchanges. That's why we need to overwhelm Weeble. As soon as trading goes live on our respective platforms, we need to make sure we're right there ready to buy in, right? Even if it's 10 cents, this is what I propose, right? This is what I told everyone. Everyone that clicks the link in the description, you get two free stocks when you deposit $5. If you deposit a penny, it supports the channel, sure. But if you deposit $5, you get two free stocks. So what I told everyone was, click the link, get your two free stocks, sell those free stocks, and buy SHIB with the stock money that you make for free. So it's you're not putting in any of your money into SHIB on Weeble. Rather, you're selling the stocks and buying with them. Up to $2,300 worth of stocks might be yours, and you could turn that directly into Shiba Inu. When Weeble sees the buy pressure, think about it. We're going to get media attention, guys. We're going to get people looking at this crypto asset. And that should excite us as investors. That should excite us. We need more media attention. And other, and that's the thing. So Weeble also makes announcements. Oh, we have a new tradable asset on our platform, right? Like Litecoin, only big cryptos and Dogecoin are currently available for trade on Weeble. So SHIB is going to be the next a more speculative play that is on that is tradable and tradable asset on Weeble. So let's show them the power of the army, guys. Each and every one of you, the 502 of you, 490 that are in the chat right now at one in the morning, make sure you guys click the link in the description and get your two free stocks. And as soon as SHIB goes live, as soon as Shiba Inu goes live, we're going to put the buying pressure on and show Weeble what the army is all about. And I guarantee the charts are going to be all over. They're going to have them all over their brokerage. It's going to excite new investors and a million holders will be around the corner from there. But what we got to do is do our part. And again, what's going to happen is going to be the domino effect. Just like Robinhood listed Dogecoin first, Weeble followed. Now Weeble is listing chip first, Robinhood will follow because they're in competition. Brokerages that are competing for the retail investor. Because as you guys saw the statistics, more than the amount of money that has been put into the stock market and crypto market in the last five months, I think, five months to, to a year, is more money that, than the last 12 years combined. So again, people are trying to make financial, um, are trying to achieve financial freedom. And they realize the only way to do that is potentially by trading or buying into speculative plays, buying, buying into stocks, buying into crypto. And it's not all about putting money into your 401k, your retirement account. No, that's boring. People realize the potential for gains in the short term and long term with investing independently or individually investing outside of that of your retirement account. So that's what I wanted to make sure to put you guys on, man. Click the link in the description for Weeble. Appreciate everybody's support. You guys have been nothing but lovely tonight. Really, from the bottom of my heart, thank you everybody for tuning in. We're, we're well on our way. You know, again. The 1 million holders by the end of the year, I think it can definitely happen. 100,000 subscribers on the channel, I think will definitely happen as well. For everybody that has already subscribed and been, and been supporting every single one of my videos, I appreciate you so much. Again, sky's not the limit, guys. It's only the start. Land, shoot for the, shoot for the stars, land on the clouds, right? My favorite, my favorite saying. So we'll see where ship goes, man. Shout out to Weeble. 
getting us getting prepared. And remember, let's look at Doge. On 4.20, they started beta testing, or 4, 4.15, April 15th. Four to five days later, it went live. So right now, the beta testing is happening for SHIB. Next week, I'm guessing, by Monday, maybe one, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to see it go live, folks. And I have some big things coming with Weeble, too. They gave me some really, really fantastic offers for you guys. So hopefully going to be working closely with them and give you guys as much opportunities. In addition to the free stocks, maybe some other opportunities on the way, too. But thank you guys again for tuning in tonight. It has been fantastic. Shaitoshi Saturdays are here to stay. Ask your questions. After I publish this video, um, ask your questions on the, on the uh, comment section below. And also feel free to message me in any platform. The easiest way to get a hold of me, I would say, man, it's been tough. I know I'm behind on Instagram messages, but I think Instagram might be the best way because I know Twitter doesn't allow people to message unless you're following me just because of spam. Um, unless I'm following you back, excuse me. So we'll see what happens. Ryoshi, we'll see what happens by tomorrow. Things are looking already pretty good. Sitting at 32,000, holding strong. Let's see if we can get to the next the next number up to 40,000, 50. Eat another zero by end of next week. Who knows? Again, sky's not the limit. It's only the beginning. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to all my new to all the investors to all the ship army members the family appreciate you guys so much much love to each and every one of you you know who you are g money ymc james i see you guys empress ebony uh arthur larkin my goodness man yep good night to you all heard three three thousand and one i see you pixel army much much love to everybody thank you guys all for tuning in and until next time everybody keep investing <laughs> Peace. And it looks like, real side note, 401 votes. And the vote is 67% say yes to make a video on how to buy Ryoshi. So I will. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning because it's like 1 a.m. And there's not many people who will watch it tonight. So tomorrow morning, I will be making a video there. And also followed, of course, by SHIB Update. Have a good night, everybody. And until next time, keep investing. Good night. Love you all.